Okay. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, do you have any specific questions? So, shall I? Will you ask them along the way? Uh, I will ask them along the way. Okay. So I'll just show you what I do basically. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So let's get started. So what I do first of all is that. Now, most of the intraday traders, what they think is that um, the one hour, four hour, or the 15 minute, that's the most important chart for them. That's how they think, the intraday traders. But for me, the most important chart would be the weekly chart. Okay? The reason, the reason is that I, I do not care about any of these. Okay? So, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. So tell me if, if I'm not clear or something, okay? Okay. 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 So, so what I do is I start with the weekly time frame. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll mark. I'll mark. I'll mark my uh, market structure on the weekly time frame. Okay. So okay. what I. So now what I do is like I see this now: high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. High highs, it took out this high and then it came back down. Okay, so this is where we're at on the weekly time frame. Okay, and then now I have my range on the weekly time frame. So I hope you know what a range is, what a trading range is. Do you know uh, that? Uh, yes, I know it, but uh, if you can explain it, it will be even better. Yes, yeah, sure. so uh, do you know all of these smart money concepts? How long have you been using them? Uh, like uh, I'm, I'm following smart money concepts from like January this year. Okay, that's like five but yeah, months. Okay, but I'm a, not uh, so, profitable. <laughs> that's okay. I'll, I'll tell you what to do. And um, do you know the basics? These order blocks yeah, and all I know the basics. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, what happens is now, if we're in an uptrend, price will go like this. It'll, it'll create higher highs and higher lows. Okay, that's the basic. That's the basic yes. market structure. And then it keeps breaking the higher highs. So once a break of a break of structure happens, okay, a new range will be created from this low to this high. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So now I'm telling you this because the, the trading range will be very important when we move further. Okay. 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 So now. Once a new range has been created, what we do is, what I do is, I'll mark the discount and premium prices. Okay? You see that? Yes. You can use a Fibonacci or something. So I hope you know what discount and premium yes, prices yes. are. Okay. Yes. And Actually, then, I do use them in my trade Yeah, plan. that's good. That's good. That's better. And then, so since we're in an uptrend, which means the market is bullish, we have to wait for price to retrace back into a discount price before taking price back higher. Okay. Yes. So now price will come back down and then boom, it will go back up. Okay. Yes. And then the opposite uh, for the for a bearish market. Okay. Price will come yes. back up and it will break the previous lower low. Okay. And then a new range will be created from this high to this low. And then price will retrace back into, into a premium price and then come back down. Okay, that's the very basic. Yes. Now, do you know why higher highs? No. Do you know why price retraces back inside of this, of this range? Uh, to okay. mitigate uh, the previous orders. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To mitigate previous Pre orders. Yes, uh, if the, it is in uh, a bullish trend, it, is, uh, it comes back to mitigate the previous sell orders. Yeah, sell orders. You're right. And then the most important thing is, it comes back down inside the range to take all of the internal range liquidity. Okay, I hope you know what internal range liquidity is. Uh, I you know what liquidity is, but uh, yeah. not so, about the internal and external. That's okay, that's okay. I'll tell that to you. So then, now once price creates a new range like this, we have this break of structure right here. And then we have a new range from this low to this high. All right. And then, Everything inside of this range would be internal range liquidity. Okay. Like okay. we can have now, now imagine this is a daily time frame. Okay. So okay. within this, now within this real price swing, we may have something like this, right? On the lower time frame. Yes. 
Okay. So then mm -hmm. all of these lows would act as internal range liquidity because there will be stop losses or sell stops below this. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And then now, so just I'll just give you the basic idea and let's dive deep into it once we move further. Okay. And now, what price does is it's com it comes back down to take out all the internal range liquidity, and then it goes back goes back higher to take out the external range liquidity. Okay, the external range liquidity lies right here. Okay. okay? Yeah. Because yeah, that all trading ranges have internal range liquidity resting inside of them, and external range liquidity resting outside of them. Okay, that's simple because. Anything within this range, anything inside of this range would be internal range liquidity. Okay. Yeah. And then anything outside of this range would be external range liquidity. Okay. Yes. I hope it's clear. I hope it's yes, clear. It's you clear. can ask me if it's not clear. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then the opposite for the bearish market. Okay. Price will come back inside of this range to take out the internal range liquidity. Okay, yeah. take yeah, out okay. the internal range liquidity. So what it does is it comes back higher to, to take out internal range liquidity plus to mitigate uh, out of their negative positions and then it will come back down. Okay. 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 So I hope it's clear. Yes, now, it's clear. Okay. Okay. So now on the weekly time frame, where are we right now? Okay. See, like I told you, we're intraday traders, right? So I hope yes. you are only interested in intraday trading, day trading. Uh, no, okay, no, so I'm interested in swing as well. Swing as well. Okay, I'll tell yeah. you how to swing with this. Okay. Now, okay. I do not care about all of this because it it will take probably around one or two months to reach this. Not even that. At least one year. Okay. So what I do is, where are we currently on the weekly time frame? This is what we could see. Price went like this, created a higher high, came back down, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, and then so, we uh, have this. Yeah, what is it? Do you consider a break with a wick uh, as a break of my uh, structure? Yeah, the reason for that is because now even though it's a wick on the weekly time frame, okay, this takes seven daily daily candles, right, to form to yes. form one weekly candle. There must be more than so yeah. There must be seven weekly can uh, daily yeah, can five 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 five, five not seven yeah. five. So now, even though it's a week on the weekly time frame, we could see something a, a candle closing below that on the daily or the four hour. You see that we have multiple yes. candle closes, so which means it's it's a break of structure. Okay. Okay. I hope it's clear. Yeah. And then, yeah. So now, where are we on the weekly time frame? So price price is in an uptrend. Okay, that's very clear. Price is in an uptrend, and then, like I told you, we have this new range now. From this low right here to this high right here. Okay, we have a new range. I hope it's yes. clear. Yes. Because the price went higher highs, higher lows, and then higher highs. So I told you, I told you, once a break of structure happens. Like this, we have a new trading range from this low to this high. Okay. And then we look for discount and premium prices. Now, since we're in a bullish market, we want price to retrace back into a discount price before going higher. Okay. I hope it's clear. Yes. And then now you see how price came back. You know, now on the weekly time frame, we're in a discounted price. Okay. Yes. We're in a deep discounted price. Now, like I told you, See, price came back inside of this to take out the internal range liquidity. Now, if you go to the daily time frame, this is what we could see. We had a break of structure, a new range. Okay, a break of structure, a new range. And then I told you, once a new range has been created, now imagine. Now I can't use the replay tool, sorry, because my trading view premium expired yesterday. <laughs> okay, so now. Yeah. <clears throat> we have this right here from this low to this high okay so i told you why is price coming back inside of the range okay like you told me 
to mitigate out of their negative positions. That's right. And what's the next thing? To internal take out range internal liquidity. range liquidity. Yeah. So now, what is internal range liquidity within this within this current trading range? Okay, it's all of these lows, this low, and even uh, order blocks and liquidity act as uh, I'm sorry, order blocks and FVG so imbalances act as internal range liquidity. Okay. Okay. Hope it's clear because can we you have explain, to come back down. Yeah. What can you explain it? more about a fair value ga a gap? Okay. A f that's simple. A fair value gap is equal to an imbalance. That's it. You know what an imbalance is, right? Yes. So if you take three candles from this uh, from this candle to this candle, you see. Yes. Now yes. these candles has to meet each other. Okay. These candles have yes. to meet meet each other, or else there is inefficient price action because for every buyer in the market there needs to be a seller. Okay. Now if bias increases, there needs to be sellers uh, of the same amount. Okay. Now you see. You see this right here. Now, right here, only only buy side was offered. You see the two big bullish candles. This yes. and this. You see now sellers were inefficient in this market. So now imagine this right here. You see how price was inefficient. This from this low to this low and this low to this high. I'm sorry, this low. You see that? Yes. And then you see price came back down and then offered sellers right here, and then it went back up. That's simple. Okay, but it's simple right now, but once we're going to um, learn about entries and stuff, these imbalances will be very important. Okay? Okay. So, so I, hope, I hope you know how to spot the imbalances and stuff. That's uh, very yes. basic. Okay. Yeah. Now how to spot the imbalances. You see, there, there's imbalances everywhere. Okay? There's imbalances everywhere. And then what I do is this. Now I have my weekly range marked from this low to this high. I told you, like I told you. The price will go come back inside of a range to take out internal range liquidity and then go outside of the range to take out external range liquidity. That's the pattern from internal range to external range. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now what we do is we enter at internal range liquidity and then exit at external range liquidity. Okay. Okay. And then now if you take price from right here, see how price created this low okay and then it created this high now imagine this did not happen okay now imagine this did not happen now we have a break of structure right here you see that's a break of market structure you agree with me that's a break of yes. market structure price came back down and then it went higher breaking yes. this structure okay and now we have a new range from this low uh this high. I have one doubt. Yeah, what's it? Uh, like, uh, can I uh, access the annotation too? Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, how can I so give like, you permission? No, no, I have it already. Like, uh, oh, okay, awesome. do you not consider this uh, pullback as uh, another like structure point? This thing. Yeah, this this pullback. No, all of this would be intermediate term structure. The reason is, price has to now. This is what price must do. Okay, I'll, I'll draw that for you. Now imagine this is the weekly time frame. Like uh, this is one of my biggest uh, question. Yeah, I, I'll tell you how to figure that out. Okay? Yeah. Now imagine this is the weekly time frame. Okay? okay. So now if you need to know market structure, okay, you need to know market structure very well in order to trade this way. Okay. Yes. Now, now if this is the weekly time frame, this is what would happen on the four hour, right? All right. This is what yes. would happen on the four hour. Yes. Now, you need to know where the real where the real momentum came into the market, which means now ask yourself, zoom zoom it out, and then ask where did the expansion really really began? Because now you see this this was just intermediate term structure within this range. You get okay. that? Yeah. Okay. Now, you see that? Now this is what you're confused with. Now, this is a new range, the real range from this low to this high. So you're considering all of these intermediate term structures. So now you're getting confused with this, right? Yes. So what you should do is zoom, zoom price out a little bit and then look where the real momentum came into the market. Where is the real expansion? 
from where did it take place? You see that? Yeah. If you, if you uh, zoom it out, you see that? Yes. You see that? Now that's that's like always choose the lowest low and the highest high as the swing points. Okay. okay. And the thing is, every time frame has its own trading range. Okay. Now even yes. though this was a weekly uh, weekly trading range from this low to this high. The, yeah. the, uh, the one hour will have its own trading range. The 15 minute will have its own trading range. And even the one minute will have its own trading range. Okay. Yes. So the most important thing is you need to know market structure. It, because if you know structure, you know what the trading range is. And if you know the trading range, then that's it. You know where to target next and where to enter. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I hope it's clear. And then now you see, imagine this was where price from this low to this high okay so you see price came back down inside of it and then like you do it mitigated from this order block right here you see that yes from that order block and then so, uh, yeah what's it like i used to consider this whole candle as an order block like uh, this uh, by, by yeah candle. yeah that's right this thing right here that's yes. the order block. Yeah, yeah, right. Because the cell started from here and then yeah. it came back down and yes. then it went back up because this the whole thing is the order block. Okay? Yes. I just refined it. And then now I told you from this low to this high is a new trading range. And then price came back up. Sorry, it came back down. Why did it come back down? To take out the internal range liquidity. Okay. Yes. Now, now where would it go next? External, yeah, external. I told you from internal to external there you see Ooh, yes took out that high and then I told you while taking external range liquidity a break of structure happened right here you see that right yes. here this is a break of structure this is a, a break of structure plus a liquidity grab because why, why do I tell this is this is external range liquidity now if price is in an uptrend okay if price is in an uptrend like this now, so have you heard of these people called the breakout traders? Yes. Okay. The breakout traders. Now, what they would do is they will place their buy stops above all of the swing highs. Above this high, above this high, and above this high. Okay? Yes. Okay? I hope it's clear. So yeah. why, why they do this is because now they know that price is in an uptrend. Okay? They know that price is in an uptrend. So once a higher high has been taken out, they know that price has to continue higher because if 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 this is being taken out okay if this is being taken out price has to go back higher right yes because we're in an uptrend okay because yes. we're in an uptrend now the banks know that okay the banks or the market makers so uh, whoever you want to call it okay they know that they know that and then they do not want us to make profit the reason is our stop losses are their profit okay our stop loss is their profit you understand okay. that? Yes. Okay. So now, once the breakout traders does this, okay, once they place their buy stop above this high, okay, now the bank, the market makers or anyone, they, they know that. They know that. They know that there's a ton of liquidity resting above this high. They know that. Because why? They have this caught data and they have access to everything. They know what the, what the retailers or the hedge funds, they know what they're doing. Okay, and like I told you, the banks they do not want us to make money. Okay, so what they do is they will take price higher, they'll take price higher and then activate all of these buy stops. Okay, you know what a buy stop is, right? Yes, a buy order yeah. when a so, certain limit is passed, certain price is passed. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. So now they know that. Okay. So now yeah. what the banks do is they'll take price higher, okay? And then all of the buy stops that, that, that were resting above this high now will get activated because price is now higher, yes. okay? So I told you, now they do not want us to make profit, okay? So now what they do is, now if you bought here, your stop loss would be somewhere around here, right? Yes. So now what they do is they'll activate the buy stops and then boom they'll come back down. Now these people would be in a loss. You see that? Yes. You see that? So this is, that is why uh, 
this this can be called as external range liquidity okay yes i hope it's clear yes it's so you, clear. you can tell me if it's not clear okay can tell hmm. then so so show you this vice versa on a bearish market okay people would place sell stops below this low because why we are in a bearish market and they know that if this lower low has been broken price will go back lower that's how the breakout traders would think okay yes so now what the banks do is they'll take price back down lower and then activate all of these sell stops okay so if you sold here if you sold here your stop loss would be somewhere around here right yes you know what they do is boom now these these guys will also be in a loss okay i hope it's clear yeah yeah it's clear okay so that's that is what happened right here that is exactly what happened right here you see yeah went higher activated all of these buy stops and then boom took which means they took out external range liquidity from this high and then now they're coming back inside which means they activated all of the buy stops right here and then if they keep going higher the people who placed buy stops right here would be in profit right they would yes. be in profit if price keeps going higher so like i told you they do not want us to make profit uh, so the thing is so they'll they'll activate all of the buy stops and then they'll take price down low you see that okay. now yes. external range liquidity has been taken out and now they're coming back down for the internal range liquidity okay like uh, now i have a question uh, yeah like uh, on uh, on this i also above this i also uh, the external uh, yeah yeah they will be, be placing their orders yes here. they would they would do that but you see this after every major high or low has been taken out there needs to be a pullback okay why the yes. reason for a pullback is like i told you there are traders who place buy stops on pretty much every every high and low they'll do that buy stops and sell stops because that's why we call them the dumb bunny okay, okay. now even above this high there would be buy stops yes okay there would be buy stops and then you see what price did they activated it and then came back down see that you see yeah. that because and the thing is they they can't do do that all the time because now the people must have a reason to invest their money in this market right so they need yes. to give them a chance to win at least yes. once or twice because now if they keep doing that people will think that this this is a scam or something and then they will not invest <laughs> their money into this yes so they yeah they know exactly what we're doing so what they do is they they'll just fool you okay they'll fool you yeah. all day every day like they do that on a daily basis okay they just okay. fool you okay and and the thing is the thing is everything has a 50% win rate all of these retail, retail strategies it has a 50% win rate why the reason yeah, because is because they want to be, uh, people to be motivated yeah. keep motivated yeah yeah so if if it does not have any win rate okay people would not do that right people would yes. not invest their money into this so that is the reason they let you win sometimes because that, and that is the reason why support and resistant resistance works okay yeah because they have to give you a reason to invest your money into the markets and then now we know we are on a discounted price in the weekly time frame and then we have this determined on the daily time frame okay now i'll go back this is what i do on the weekly and the daily you see that that's all yeah okay and then i go to the 4 hour go to the 4 hour and then now on the 4 hour is where i mark my liquidity okay so now you see this even though this may look like relative equal lows they aren't okay this is not relative equal lows okay price what it did was this low right here took out liquidity from all of the previous lows even though it's not visible i told you this is a four hour time frame okay on the 15 minute we can see a clear wick coming back down and taking liquidity from both of these lows okay from both of these lows you see okay. that yeah 
you see that yes even by a tick they did that you see they manipulated this way equal lows right here and right here and then this candle came came out of nowhere and then took out liquidity from both of these low okay i hope yeah. you can see that and then yes yeah and then to do a manipulation banks need to be involved because the retailers they can't do a, they can't do something like this right they cannot do something like this because they only risk around 500 to 1000 dollars or something they can't move the market like this so which means now this is presence of order flow so do you know what order flow is uh yes uh, a little bit no no you, you can hear me if you do not know yeah <laughs> yeah so then what order flow means is this say we're in an uptrend okay now we have an order block right here we have another one right here and another one right here you see how, now how price is mitigating out of their orders you yes. see this yeah. comes back down mitigates break structure and then comes back down once again they mitigate and then they goes back up and then they, they'll come back down mitigates and then go back up okay now this is order flow which means can you see how the orders are flowing now you see yes From this flow, uh, it this is a bullish order flow. flow yeah that's bullish order flow and then vice versa in a bearish market you see yes comes back down mitigates comes back down mitigates so this is order flow which means they're going from mitigation to mitigation okay that's okay. Uh, order flow that's order flow now on the four hour we can see order flow right here okay came back down took out liquidity yeah. from both of these lows and then And then you see this order block right here that got mitigated. Uh, you your voice that? is uh, audio is pretty low. Like now, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Sure. No. Uh, if you can increase it a little bit more. Okay. Give me. Give me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you hear me? yes clearly okay and then like i told you we have this clear order block right here yes okay and then what did price do went back up and then came back down mitigate right now where yes. is the order flow right here because now people can say this is our order block okay people can say that this bearish candle is our order block okay Okay. But really, what happened was this price went higher. Okay, it went higher. And yes. then look at this candle. Okay, look at this candle. This is where this, this bearish candle closed right here. Yes. Okay, the bearish candle closed right here. And then this candle opened right here. Okay, yes. it opened and then it came, it dropped back down like this. Yes. Okay. They came back down to mitigate this and then it went higher you see now yes. the, the the best thing about the wick is that it acts as imbalance and also as an order block the wick okay the wick acts as imbalance and also and also as an order block okay because why there were sellers pressing it uh, pushing it down from right here once it yes. once it opened sellers pushed it down but what happened was once it came back down here, buyers started pushing it higher. You see that? Yes. And then buyers took the upper hand. They, they pushed it back higher, which means now there is a lot of selling and buying pressure on this week. Okay? You yes. see that? Yeah. And then, so now, where is the money? Where is the money for real? Not this, not this candle right here. Okay? Money is now here on this week because I, now i told you why you see that because yeah. once it opened it was a selling candle and then later the buyer started pushing it back higher okay yeah okay which means now you know what an order block is right that's a sell to buy candle yes that's a sell to buy candle you see this order block 
it came yes. back down took out liquidity from all of these loops and then went back higher which means now this is a bullish order block yes okay this bearish candle is a bullish order block so now the same thing happened right here on a lower time frame price came back down sell to buy you see that sell yes. to buy you see that so now the money is on this week their money is on this week i told you yes okay i hope it's clear you can ask me if it's not clear mm, i do have a question uh yeah what's it let me uh annotate it it's like uh, what okay. happened is like this was a sell candle then they started yeah. buying it yeah and then uh they uh if we can uh we see like this uh then they again sold it right here right so like so yeah they they sold it back again Yes. But on this single candle, what we can see is that bias finally took charge of it, right? Because you see, it it closed. It has closed above the opening price. Yes. See that? Which means now it's a bullish candle. Yes. So the price opened, and then now this is the story behind that wick. Yeah. Okay. I I understood the story behind the wick and uh, why you are saying uh, that the money is sitting here. But like uh, from from the concepts I have learned, like when we are in in a, in a range like this, and okay. the uh, the sell candle which breaks this uh, range is is where the most of the money is sitting. Yeah, but who taught you then? Hmm. Oh. Who, like, where did you learn that from? Uh, I learned this from uh, Anjat, I think. Anjat. Anjat. Okay. Yes. But the thing is, okay. But the thing is, you see. You see now, where 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 did the real uh, bearish momentum came into the market on this week, right? So yes. like, what what is it right here? Nothing, nothing, because this is where the sellers originally pushed the market back down, right yes. here. Once this candle opened, because now there's nothing above here. If there's nothing, so there might be something because there needs to be something. So price came back down and then it mitigated something. But then why yes. did this week come back down here? If there's if all the money is right here, why did this week come right here? Because I told you, the liquidity is in this week. Okay, their money yes. is in this week. Okay, you see that? Because okay, now there might be orders right here, so that's why they came back down right here. But then, then ask yourself, why did it come back down right here? If the money was right here, you see that? Yes. Yeah, and then the next thing about a week is. Okay, the wick will always have an order block or an imbalance on the open of it and then on the 50%. Okay, on the open and then on the 50%. Because um, I'll show you some example. Let's see, let's look at this the same thing. Okay, now say we're looking at this or this thing. Say we're looking at this long week, okay? Yeah. Now this is the four-hour time frame. If you go back down to a fifteen minute, this is what we could see. Um, so that's all I can do. That's all. Okay. See? See that? I told you there will be there will be an order block. First one will be on the open of the week and the next one will be on the 50 percent you see that yeah okay i hope it's clear the first one will be on the base of the week which means the open of the week and then the second one will be on the 50 percent right here uh, actually i didn't understood it this big concept like okay now this is how a week will be formed okay now say this is a bearish week or a bullish week, okay. Price will come back down, yeah, okay, and then it will go back higher, yes, okay. go back higher. Now, this can you see that price even breaks this structure right here, yes, okay. Now, this is a four hour week, price opened, it came back down, and then it broke structure, okay. It it doesn't necessarily have to break structure, but I'm just showing you one, one single candle. Okay. Price yeah. came back down. Okay. Sellers pushed it back down. And then the buyers took the upper hand and then they pu pushed it back higher. Yeah. From right here. So you, you have seen this, right? 
Yes. Now there there wouldn't be just one single candle like this. Okay. There'll be multiple candles. Like this. Like this. You've seen that, right? Uh, yes. There'll be order blocks. There will be order blocks on a lower time frame. Now yes. imagine this. Now imagine this was a 15 minute time frame. Okay. There'll be an order block right here. There'll be an order block right here. You have seen that, right? Yes. For sure. You would have seen that. Yes. So now, yes. I'm talking about just one single candle. This is a four hour week from this okay. high to this low. That's a four hour week. Okay. Yes. So now, on, on the week, it, that's the same thing. Okay. So if it's a four hour week on the 15 minute, there'll be multiple candles. Right? Yes. There'll be multiple candles. So that's it. So don't overcomplicate it. That's just simple. That's simple. The first one will be, okay. The first one will be on the 50%. Um, okay, now if you take this week right here, like I told you, you see, the first one will be on the base of the week right here, on the opening of the week. Okay, because okay. On, a lower on a lower time frame, price went back up and then it came back down, which means first, once, once this candle was op open, Okay, once this candle was opened, buyers pushed it back higher and then sellers pushed it back down lower. Which yes. means now there will be an order block right here, right? Yes. And then you see how price came into the base of that week. You see that? Yes. Okay, and then the same thing here. You see how price came into that opening of the week? You see that accuracy here? Yes. We don't have to go to a lower time frame to refine this. You see that? Came yes. Into the base of that week. So... If you if you can follow weeks, <laughs> that, that that's better. See? Even right here, see? you see that? I told you, first one will be on the base of the week. See, you see, came back down. This has been mitigated. So right here, the base, the first order block has been mitigated. So where is the next one? On In the, the middle. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Yes. See that? So, so are you trying that's, to say that the uh, yeah, are you that? trying to say that a uh, an order block will be mitigated twice so first at the base and twice, then at the not twice not twice okay i told you this order block okay i'm sorry this week yes this acts as imbalance plus order block okay two in yes. one that's a two in one this week acts as a two in one okay yeah so there will always be two order blocks okay two order blocks one would be on the opening of the week and then the other one would be on the 50%. So that's not one. That's not one order block. Okay, there'll be two. And I'm talking about the lower time frame. Okay, now this is the four hour. This is the four yes. hour. So I'm telling you what happened What happened on the lower time frames. Okay, I hope it's clear. That's that's uh, very yes. simple. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. Okay, that's very simple. This is how we take it. The first one would be on the base of the week and second one would be right here. So even if this has been mitigated, even if the one that was uh, lying on the base has been mitigated, we know that price can come back down into, into the 50%. Okay, now this is additional stuff. So I'm just telling you, okay? <laughs> so you need you need to know this stuff. Okay, that's very basic. So uh, Actually, watched, no, nobody, nobody ever told me about uh, it like this. <laughs> Yeah. So, have you watched ICT? Uh, no. Like, I tried watching so ICT, but like, it weekend. was... Uh... That's too long, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it talks about a lot of uh, stuff which is not important. Who tells you. Yeah. Uh, can you... Uh, like, <laughs> no, your vo no. voice is all again... Most important stuff. Uh, uh, now, now, now? Am I clear? Uh, yeah, now it is clear. Okay. So, what, uh, what uh, were you saying about ICT? Yeah, so he, he does not talk about useless stuff. He is the one who really talks yeah. about the useful stuff. This NJ oh. and everyone, they just copy all of their stuff and then rename it their concepts. That's yeah. what they do. Then if we go to the four hour, like I told you. Now, this week, this week was created by news. Okay, which means. Now, even on the 15 minute, this would be just a week. Okay. 
but yes. we know that there will still be money on the week even though it was created by news okay and then okay let's ignore that week for now because that was created by news and then i told you about now i'm gonna tell you about this thing this week right here okay so i told you where will the first order block be on, on the, the opening on the base on the opening you see how price this opening of this candle it came back down and they mitigated it mitigated this then like, where will uh, the next the, one be yeah what's it in the case of this uh, cell candle uh, yeah let me rotate it like what must have happened okay. is like it went like this then it uh, closed like this right yeah yeah, yeah. so it, this it, must it be about, sold and uh, then it bought uh this should be this whole cell uh, cell candle should be our order block right yeah no case. so there wouldn't be just one single candle right there wouldn't be yes. one single candle there will be like this yeah there will be one multiple like candles this. yeah there will be multiple yeah. candles so then so right here like this i'll tell you now i'm talking of the about the week this this is what would have happened on the lower time frame yeah price sold back down like this and then buyers started pushing it back up okay that's what would have happened you see that yes this is what would have happened okay so yes. like i told you like i told you this acts as an order block and as well as an imbalance okay so now you see there will be imbalance from this low to this something right here okay and then we even have this order block right here okay okay hope it's clear it's it's very simple it's very simple you don't have to over complicate it yes now see we have this and then this once again okay like i told you the first yeah. one would be on the opening right here and then the second one would be on the 50% right here okay yeah, i got it yeah okay awesome and then right here now what happened here was price came back down and then it pushed back high. so i told you first one will be on the opening you see that yes. has been mitigated by this candle by this week came back down mitigated and then went higher so now we know where is the next one on the 50% the middle yes yeah see on the 50% you see how price came into it okay you see that you see how accurate see we didn't even want to go to a lower time frame to refine it just from the 4 hour we got it Yes. that's where exactly price came in so that's what i did okay I, i wanted to buy from here but this happened with news okay this happened with news so you know during news spreads will widen up okay spreads will widen up so we cannot buy it from this low right here okay so i bought it from here okay and then so you know about liquidity right where well, liquidity and you know you yes. know about liquidity now the problem comes when you're going to choose an order block right so because there will be multiple order blocks all over the place like all yes. over the place okay so now how do we determine the right order block okay the right order block yeah that is the biggest so question so this works every time yeah okay i'll tell you now this works all the time okay this works all the time now before choosing an order block or a point of interest okay now if we in a bullish market it needs to rest in a discount price okay okay and then okay in a bearish market it needs to be in a premium price but yes. what makes it high probable yeah what makes it high probable is liquidity must be fed into a point of interest okay liquidity must be fed into the point of interest which means now if we are in an uptrend okay if we are in an uptrend let's say this is what happened because price does not move that perfectly so this is what it would do 
Okay, we had a break of structure right here. Okay, we had a break of structure right here. And then I told you, I told you. Now, to determine the right order block, there needs to be liquidity fed into that point of interest, which means now, can you see this equal lows? Okay, can you see that? Yes, I can see that. Okay, so we have equal lows. So we know that equal lows will be taken out. That's basic smart money. You know that, yeah. right? Yes. We do not buy from equal lows. So now, if you have a, an order block right here, would you trust, will, do you trust it? No. Obviously, no. Why? there are a lot of chances that uh, the smart money, uh, the uh, institutions will take out this equal lows because yeah. a lot For of sure uh, stops are, stop losses are there. Yeah. So now, what we will do is we will determine something right here. See, we know it because now you know that this will be taken out. So that's it. So price will take out all of this liquidity and then tap into this. That is it. So it's not that hard. See how liquidity has been fed into this POI right here. Yes. You see now, there are stop losses. Now, these stop losses have been fed into this POI, which means now, once these stop losses have been taken out, price will which means the market makers are now in profit because the retail traders or the breakout traders or anyone, the, uh, the people who trade support and resistance, now they will place their stop losses right here. Right? Yes. If they buy from this equal lows, their stop losses would be right here. Okay, so now where their stop losses are is where our entry point is. Uh, you you, so you are not audible it. clearly. So they, okay. Now, uh, now you are yes like uh, it it start uh, when you were explaining this uh, okay, something I'm, I'm sorry like, for uh, that it stopped uh... <laughs> yeah there's some issue with the connection can you hear me now yes so uh, can you explain from here again like what you were explaining here can you see yes yeah yeah sure sure so now can you see how liquidity has been fed into this yes. UI because now, the people who trade support and resistance would view this as a support. Okay. Yes. And then people would even uh, look at this as, as this M pattern. You see that? Yes. This M pattern line. All of those crazy stuff. Okay. And people, now even the breakout traders would place their sell stops below this. So now you see how liquidity has been fed into this POI. We have yes. all of these stop losses resting just above it. Which means now you now you know the price will do this. It will take out all of these lows. Now, now what they do is to trap more and more people into this. They'll come back down and then they'll even give a reaction from this equal lows. Which means now even more traders would jump jump in. Yeah. Right? They'll give a yes. huge reaction like this. And then comes this the manipulation. Yes. The manipulation straight into our point of interest. And then boom. That's it. You see, yes. there needs to be liquidity resting just above or below it. Now, in this case, there needs to be liquidity resting just above it. You see? Yes. Yeah. How, how liquidity uh, is just chilling. It's just chilling above it. You see that? Yes. Uh, this markup uh, looks uh, like uh, one of the recent trade you took on GU. GU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. So, we'll go to the one-minute time frame and that's like magic. I'll show you everything on the one-minute time frame. So you can stack up orders every time. You would have seen my channel, right? Like yes, I take yes. orders out of everywhere. Yeah. That's what I do. This is basically what I do. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Okay. I I'll just show it to you because once we go into the chart examples, you understand it better. And you even have the recording so that um, you can watch it, re-watch it. And then once you yeah. back test, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, and then... On a lower time frame, I'm sorry, on a bearish market, this is what would happen. Price will come back down, and then you see it creates this little resistance right here, equal yes. highs. Yeah. Equal highs, and then it will come back down. So now, would you trust any of this order block? No, right? Because yeah. what, yeah. what is the reason for you to trust this? Yeah, I told you, if, it, if, it's high, if it's a high probable a point of interest, there needs to be liquidity fed into it. Okay, there needs to be liquidity fed into that point of interest. Now, you see, there's nothing. No liquidity has been fed into this. No liquidity yes. has been fed into this. 
but yes. which one which one has liquidity resting below it see that yes because there's a ton of liquidity above this this is a liquidity pool and then uh, people would is, even do uh, this your voice yeah, was uh stucking again like ah oh, shit <laughs> some issue with the connection so am i clear now ah uh, yes okay okay i'm sorry for that and then you can see this now there's this little resistance being formed just below our poi yes okay yeah so now you know what price uh it it is uh, stacking again what price will do is is some problem with your connection or my connection uh i think my connection is working fine uh, yeah. let me check okay uh, can you give me a minute okay yeah yeah sure i'll just check okay I don't think it is a problem with my connection. Like I tried playing a one zero eight zero p video, so like it was playing without any buffering. Yeah, yeah. So if it happens, yeah, it is still stuck. If you are yeah, playing something, just, just I cannot hear. <laughs> it is still happening. Still? Okay. Yes. Give me. Give me. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. For that. Well, like sometimes it happens that uh, your voice clear uh, completely goes out. It goes out. Okay. So if it happens, just tell it to me. Okay. Tell yes. it to me if it happens. Okay. Now, can you see how this resistance is being formed right here? Yes. Okay. Which means now, this acts as a pool of liquidity because we have tons of stop losses above this. Yes. Okay. So now we can expect this. We know that equal highs has to be taken out. Okay. Yes. So now the the stop loss would be a entry. So price will do this. Now what makes this high probable? What makes this point of interest high probable is the liquidity resting below it. Yes. Okay. So now price will come back up and then boom. That's what they would do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, something like this might also happen. That uh, like, uh, this is our order block, and like the okay. price went uh, uh, with a, a very a lot of momentum, and it it came like down here, and it created liquidity here. Yeah, and then be... even this, yeah, even this would make it high probable because now we have equal lows just below this. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Now, so once it once it comes to liquidity, okay. Once it comes to liquidity, not only uh, double tops and uh, double bottoms act as liquidity. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, what the retailers have been taught is this: if price comes back down, and if it breaks structure like like this. And yes. what? And if it retraces, and then if it, it breaks structure once again, okay. If it does that, now retailers, okay. I'm talking about retailers. How they have been taught in their textbooks is that this low is a strong low because it broke broke structure, it retraced, and then it broke structure once again. Okay. So now yes. retailers would view this as a strong low. You see that? Yeah, but even we we uh, we view it as a strong low now. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, so I have a lot of. I, I learned it. I learned it uh -huh, in Phantom. Tell you why. Phantom. Okay. Now they would view this as a strong low, and what the breakout traders would do is once they find a strong low, okay, 
they'll place their cell stop below it. Okay? Okay. Okay. They'll place their cell stop below it. Because why? They think if this, now this is a strong low, and if it breaks, they'll think price has to go, price has to continue going lower. That's how they would view it. Right? Yes. Now, we will have uh, stop losses of the people that bought from this low. Okay, that would be around here. Okay? Yes. Because now we, we are the ones who are trading in trade. Okay, we are the ones who are trading in trade and only we trail our stop losses. Okay, like we take it yes. higher and higher. Now, that, that's what we would do. But most of the position traders or the swing traders, these hedge funds and stuff, what they do is they trade on the higher time frame so, because they have a lot of money to risk. Yes. They, they'll trade on the day, daily time frame or the four hour. And I don't think they'll go below the four hour time frame. Okay? okay. Now, what they would do is once they find a strong low, they'll place their sell stop below it. Because now they would view this as a strong low. And they'll think if price breaks it, it will just keep continuing going low. It will keep continuing going low. Okay? Yeah. That's how they would view it. And then, so you, do you know what an inducement means? uh yes they dotted in phantom like uh it uh like it basically acts as a place where people will enter the trade so that yeah. uh and uh the bfis use it use it as a place where uh the orders are induced basically induced yeah. so that so, they can take the liquidity created by the yeah. orders what, what an inducement actually means is like the market makers or the banks so anyone who controls these markets they will induce people into doing something wrong okay now see, now yes. see this thing will be seen as a strong low because now the inducement is very very important because if you know where the inducement is okay if you can like once you look at the market if you know where the inducement is you can enter anywhere anytime okay even on the one minute this happens and even on the second time frame this happens because price is fractal okay yes okay now we have this low i'm talking about this low this specific low okay now breakout traders would view this as a strong low okay yes and then they'll place their stop loss below it okay and then they'll even have their sell stops below it because they think this is a strong low so they yes. even have their sell stops below it and then even smart money traders would get trapped i don't think so uh, uh, Phantom and the NJ they taught this. Even smart money traders would view this as an order block. Yes, right? yes. And then, and then, now even you would look at it as an order block, right? Because you see, yes. it has everything. It has yes. all the confirmations. Took out liquidity from all of these lows. Yes. Okay. And then it broke structure right here. Okay. Yes. It broke structure right here, and it even has a little bit of imbalance. This even has some imbalance. So now we have all the good reasons to con uh, to <coughs> sorry we have all good reasons to consider this as a strong low. Okay, we have all the reasons to consider this as a good order block, right? Yes. Because it took out liquidity and then it broke structure. It even has some imbalance left. Okay. But what's missing? The inducement. Where is the inducement? Uh, there is like, no inducement. Uh, in Phantom, they teach to the PUI. Yeah. In Phantom, they teach that this is this can be an inducement. Like this is liquidity, okay, that, timeline liquidity. Okay, but now there needs that's it. I told you. Even Phantom will not teach you this. Imagine you saw this as an induced trend line liquidity. Okay, that's fine. That's trend line liquidity. Okay, that's trend line liquidity. But, and then imagine how many traders would have looked at this like that, this trend line liquidity, and, and it took out liquidity from these lows and it structure. So now smart yes. money traders would view this as a good order block, right? Yes. So now imagine all of the smart, uh, the new, the new people to smart money, because I would always wait for confirmation. Okay. I'll wait for evidence of reaccumulation yes. or distribution. Okay. And then. Imagine how many people would have done this, the newbies to smart money. Imagine how many people would have done this. Yes. Okay. 
because it's a very clear order block, right? Yes. And then, I see, because now, now these days, there's a lot of smart money traders, not, not retail, they do, now most people do not use retail concepts, okay? They use smart money. Well, yes. Now, that's what we, they do. Now, even in Jet, they make their own names. They call it a few week or something. They call it a full body candle. <laughs> they tell yes. all of these like <laughs> rebranded names. But the real thing is, this is just an order block because ICT was, was the one to come up with all of this. Okay. So, this is just an order block. Yes. Okay. And then, now imagine how many people would have looked at this that way. We have trend line liquidity. And then, okay, now smart money traders would view this as a good point of interest, right? Yes, they, exactly. They I also would have viewed it as a good point of interest. <laughs> yeah. So then, then ask yourself, if it was that clear, and yes. if the market makers do not want us to make money, would yes. they give it to you that easily? Would no. they do that? No, definitely right? Definitely no. So now, yeah. definitely no. So now imagine how much of liquidity would be resting below this low. Yes. Okay. Imagine how much of liquidity is now resting below this low. Now, even the smart, uh, the smart money traders have been trapped here. Okay. Yes. The reason is, yeah, the reason is this. They'll do this. The new people to smart money, they'll do this. Because that's the 30 people uh, stop loss. They'll think, okay, that's fine. And then now, even the breakout traders have been trapped here, right? Now, they'll view this as a strong low. I gave you the reasons why. Okay. Yes. I gave you the reasons why. And then, now what's missing? The real inducement. Okay. An inducement, an inducement means now, okay, now this is trend line liquidity. That's right. Yes. But if people bought here or here, or here, or here, now would they place their stop loss below this? Is there any reason for them to do it? Like, no. No, that yeah. does not make sense. So now, how, how can this act as liquidity? Even this, if even this was a trend line at that point, now yes. how can it be liquidity? Now the people who bought here would have taken their profits, right? Yes. After this break of tax, they would have taken their profits. So we, we need to have a real inducement. By an inducement, I mean a trap. A trap where even the smart money traders, the breakout traders, the position traders, the swing traders, the hedge funds, all of them have to get trapped. Okay, all of them. Yes. Now you see, now see how much of liquidity is lying below this low. Ask yourself, how many people would have viewed this as, an, as a good order block? And how yes. many people would have yeah, looked at this as a, a strong low? Okay, it's not only you and me that's trading. There's like millions of people that's trading. And, and, yes. and nowadays, because of this uh, the COVID thing, more, many people are into, into trading, right? Yes, yes. So now... Yeah, so now people would know. Now imagine how much of liquidity is resting below this low. How much of liquidity? Okay, and then now, now, uh, like once a new trading range has been created, okay, we need to identify where the real trap is. Where is the real inducement? By inducement, I do not mean all of this trend line liquidity or equal lows or anything. The real inducement, the real trap. A trap where even the smart money traders would get trapped. Okay. Okay. And then now we have that. And we have this order block right here. Like now, what's special about this order block is that now liquidity has been fed into this POI. All yes. of this liquidity has been fed into this POI. I hope it's clear. Yes. Okay. But now. Yes. Okay. So, does it make sense so far? Uh, yes. Yeah. It makes sense, but like, uh, then again, uh, I will, I'm getting confused in structure then. Yeah, structure plays a major role. Structure yeah, because, and liquidity. Uh, here we, they, like, uh, broke the structure here, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, but then, so then uh, it will be considered as a strong low. Then if we, uh, if we break this, then it will be a, a break of structure, right? <laughs> that is the inducement. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is, is the inducement. Yes, I can yeah, understand see, you're, this. You're getting but, trapped now. Yeah. <laughs> you need to know market structure very well. Yes, that is the problem. On, on the daily time frame, like I told you, yeah, this was the real price swing from this low 
to this side. I told you. Yes. Anything in between would be yes. in the middle. Uh, I'm not able to hear you if you are speaking something. Hello. Can you hear uh, me? Yes. Now I can hear you. Uh, there, yeah, yeah. There was some problem with my connection. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. No problem. Okay. 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 <clears throat> so now you see, even you get trapped here. You will yes. give this as a strong look. Yes. But I told you. I told you. This is a real price swing from this low to this high. Yes. And everything in between. Okay. Everything in between is internal range liquidity. Yes. Right. Yes. Now you see. Now you see, even you got induced into doing something wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I don't think I would have taken a trade here. Like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, we were in a downtrend in the 4 hour. Yeah. So, yeah. We, we, I need, would have... we need confirmation. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, I, I wouldn't I... even look at this. I wouldn't even look at this order block because I know for sure this will be taken out. I know that. Because yeah. there was no inducement. Inducement is the main thing. Okay. Yes. Because now there's a lot of smart money traders. So, now... Look at the charts. Now go, go back to your charts uh, in the years 2005 or something. And then look at the market. There's just one order block. Price comes back to that and then it goes. That's it. Yeah. Now since there's a lot of uh, smart money traders, they they will create more and more traps. Okay. Yes. A trap where even the smart money traders would get trapped. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, what's special about this order block right here is the liquidity that's resting above it. Okay, now yes. the stop losses and the sell stop and even the, the stop losses of the smart money traders, everything have been fed into this, right? Yes. Because now after the manipulation, where will price come into? Boom, right here, right? Okay. Yes. But now there's something else we need to consider. Okay, there's something else because after now, once you're going to choose an order block, always choose the order block that, that is closest to the inducement. Okay, that's closest to the inducement. Okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. And now, like I told you, people would place their sell stop below this, right? They'll do that. Yes, yes. And then, once price comes back down like this, okay? The yes. People, now, if it, if it keeps going lower, the people who place sell stop right here, they would be in profit. Okay. And now yes. if they're trading on the four hour time frame, so obviously they have a lot of money to risk. Right? Yes. So now, now look at this. Look at this thing. So you, you need to look at all of these tiny details. Okay. Now it, it may seem like a big thing, but once you start doing it, you can like once you look at the market, you'll see that. Okay. Now you see? If they place their sales up below this. You see, that's 33 pips until yes. here. Okay. Now, yes. if the sell stop get activated right here, and if it yes. goes back down to 33 pips, now, and since, like I told you, they'll have a lot of money to risk. Okay. Yes. So, now imagine they used um, a 10 standard lot size right here. So, once it goes back down to 33 pips, that's like a $33,000 profit. Yes. You get that? So yes. now, would the market makers make um, let us make money? No, no right? Definitely, no. yes. Definitely no. So yes. now, will it come back down this far? No, right? No. They yes. will not. They will not. So I told you, I told you, always choose the POI that is closest to the inducement. Now, what do we have right here? You see this week? You see this week? What did I tell you about the week? The first one would be on the opening of the week. Okay, yes. mitigated. Mitigated. What's left? What is left? 50%. 50%, yes. 50%. You see how price came back down? Right here. You see how it came back down with 50%. So we would not, honestly, obviously, we will not take a buy from the 50%. We know because a huge manipulation is coming now because. This is a liquidity pool. This is a pool of liquidity. Yes. Okay. We know that. Like I, I gave you all the reasons why. We, yes. Why we do not trust this low. You see that? And then, 
you see it took out all of the, now it activated the sell stops took out the stop losses of all of the smart money traders or anyone and then and now even the breakout traders have been trapped the position traders the swing traders everyone everyone is now manipulated everyone has been taken out now yes okay. now would they take price back down low no if they do that these people would be in profit so now they need to go back higher okay yes okay okay so now but where will they go into where will they go into now on the weekly this was our range right from this low to this high yes okay that yes. was our range but on the four hour on the four hour this is what we could see price went higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs and then a break of structure a break of structure right here you see that we had a break of structure yes okay yeah. and then price broke the structure and then now so uh, we, we, i, yeah, I have a doubt so if okay. you consider wicks uh, wicks as a uh, a wick break as a, a break of structure then here also it uh, bro uh, broke the structure right yeah it broke structure it broke structure it broke structure right here okay but yes. you see external range liquidity has not been taken out yet yes i told you now did this wick go higher than this higher no. than this previous high no right no. so then it comes back down and then you see even that's the inducement that's an inducement now you would take this as a good poi right because why it uh, took out liquidity and then it broke it it even broke structure right here yes you would view this yeah that is the reason why we must always go with the higher time frame flow because if you do not know where the higher time frame is heading or the or the intentions of the higher time frame you're gonna fail you're gonna fail big time you see that price took out liquidity from this high okay it took out liquidity from this high and it yes. even broke structure now how many people would view this sort of block you see it even gave a reaction gave a reaction yes okay and then how many people would look to re-enter right here yeah see? they're just creating liquidity and then they'll just take them out that's what they do all day every day okay they'll create liquidity and then take them out. take that out they'll induce and then they'll take them out they'll induce and then they'll take it out that's what they do all day okay and this thing this thing the inducement thing it even happens on the one minute and not only on the one minute it even happens on a 15 second time frame okay okay now you see but even to use the 15 second time frame you need to know where the higher time frame is heading okay 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 now you see that you know we see that price went higher but what was our real target this right the external range liquidity yes so now even but, though uh, this, yeah, but is? still uh, we, if we we are marking the current structure we like okay, we will yeah. mark it as at li as like this right like this this and i can't see your annotations uh you cannot see my annotation no ah okay now it's clear yeah, yeah that's how we would mark it but so i like, told you I told yeah, you. I told you. Told me where where the... did the real price swing came? Came into the market. Where is the real price swing? Okay. Zoom out a little bit and then see, and then look at it. Where are the real price swings? Okay. Price went like this: high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, high highs. You see that? Zoom it yeah. out a little bit. And then see where the real momentum came into the market. You see, this looks like once you look at it, you know, you know. Once you look at it, um, that those lows are not trustable. <laughs> yeah. And then, okay. Now, price broke structure right here. Okay, it okay. broke structure right here, and then broke structure, went back higher. And then came back down, broke this structure once again. Okay. Okay. And then price went higher, came back down lower. Okay. Yes. Now, 
what is our range on the four hour from this high right here yeah this low down here yes okay okay, okay. awesome i hope you understand what i told you so far uh, yes like i have i have some problems with the inducement but uh, maybe if we see some examples i will yeah get it. i'll show you the examples i'll show you the examples then you'll understand yeah and that's why i told you you need to know market structure very well okay yeah. or else it's very hard okay now we know that price has to pull back after this this low has been taken out we know that right yes you know price has to um what do you call price has to pull back after this low has been taken out yes okay and then i told you why does price come back inside of a range to take out internal range liquidity yes okay and yes. i told you even imbalances and order blocks will act as internal range liquidity okay and right okay. here and right here they still have their pos positions unmitigated right because yes. that's why we have a, a, a huge imbalance right here okay and then like i told you this was a real poi 50% of the week yes okay okay and then price went higher now we know that after this low has been taken out we need to pull back okay we yes. need to pull because back because there is a lot of liquidity sitting below it yeah there's a lot of yeah. liquidity sitting below it now we need yes. to pull back because if yes. if price continues going down lower this, the people who place sell stops below this would be profit. in profit yeah yeah okay. and now where will the pull back go into okay now this into was the our premium range. of this 4 hour level this side yeah awesome from this high to this low yes. was a range okay now yes. people would have looked at this right <laughs> people yeah. would have looked at this now, why did why did it come there <laughs> why did it come there why yeah. why the reason was this is what we call a climax reversal okay a climax reversal have you heard of it before no never no. okay <laughs> what the climax reversal is means is it takes out liquidity okay a climax reversal usually happens due to news okay it takes out liquidity mm -hmm. and then it will drop down heavily okay by heavily i mean now look at this Look at yeah. how many pips this imbalance is. Look at that. That was an eighty pip imbalance. Yes. Okay. Now that yeah. is a climax reversal. You see that price took out liquidity from all of these highs, and then boom, it came back down heavily. It tanked back down. See, it was just melting. You see that? Yes. Yes. Now that is a climax reversal. And now, why wouldn't price go up here? Now I I'm sure now. Once price was starting to uh, pull back right here, people were looking at this, and only this, only this, because why? There was a huge imbalance. People were looking at this. I yes. think you can relate. Yes, yes. No, I was not looking at uh, like, looking to trade here. Like I, I, okay. I also followed uh, the premium and discount concept. Yes. So I knew okay. that as as soon as we came into premium, I was I into started looking for sales. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Because if we do this. anything above this would be a, a premium price and then now do you know the reason why price did not come back here why didn't it come back and fill this imbalance okay uh, no. the reason is where is the inducement where is the inducement okay there yes. needs to be liquidity because liquidity But, uh, is what drives the market yeah uh, can this it? order block act as a, an inducement because a lot of uh, that uh, will act as inducement okay yes that will act as induce one but yeah, but I'll yeah, tell you. yeah I'll tell i understood you. what because the range is a very big so the people who uh, yeah. place their trades here will be in profit yeah awesome. okay now there is no liquidity because now liquidity is what drives the market you know that right yes now if there is now imagine price did this thing right here it came back down and imagine price did this yeah and then it went back down now we have a reason yes. higher prices yes okay? because we have a lot of liquidity resting above these highs now yes. price would come into this and then it might come now you see there is no inducement 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, like uh, the thing which you told me now, like the uh, pip difference. This is this thing is very important. No one tells this. Yeah. No one tells you that. That's the thing. Yeah. And the climax reversals and stuff. So once the climax reversal happens, you can barely see a return back to the origin because there is no inducement. And yes. now even this order block is purely edited because why? Now imagine how many people are looking at this thing. I think. Yes. Now imagine how many people are looking at this. <laughs> yes. Now, do you think it would work? No, right? No, definitely yes. Now, because there's a lot of stop losses above this. Yes. So, so what I would do is I'll look at this big, <laughs> not that high. <laughs> this big. Yeah. Do do what the rest is not doing. <laughs> That's the trick. That's the trick. Yeah. But That's what is, the market uh, makers do. So like, but for a newbie, it is very difficult to take uh, such trades. Like at this. Yeah, rate, it's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Now, even for you. Like now, I told you all of this, but that's not enough. You need to do a lot of back testing. Yes. You need to back test like crazy. Now, this is a different perspective, right? I'm sure nobody yes. taught you this. Yeah. Because this even order blocks act test liquidity. Because I, I didn't learn it from anywhere else. From this, I learned this from my own back testing. Okay. The clear order blocks never work unless unless there is an in inducement. Okay. Yes. There always needs to be an inducement. Because that inducement thing, I, yeah, that's a new thing. That's really a new thing. Well, that is what happens all the time. Okay, if there is inducement, it's high probable. Okay, now you see. Yeah. Why did now? I told you. That's that's a little tip I'm giving you. Do not trust clear order blocks because many people would view this. Now many people would view that as their point of interest, right? Yes. So which means there'll be a lot of liquidity resting above or below it. Okay. Yes. And then. I told you that, and now I'm asking you, why did this order block play though? Okay, because there is inducement play? below it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it this is this induced. sector. Yeah. Equal. But uh, you can, we can see a reaction from this order block also because there yeah, is an inducement I, I right below it you. in the lower time frame. <laughs> see, you know that. <laughs> you know it. Awesome. Now you see, we have an inducement. Yes. That's why this played out. Because yes. of the inducement, okay. And now, if we go back down to the fifteen minute or the one hour, but wait, once we go to the one minute, things get crazy. So just hold on, okay. I'll yeah. show you everything. Now, price was going in an uptrend, okay. Yes. I told you, price is fractal. Price is fractal, okay. It took out these lows right here. It took out these lows. Yes. This was a major trap. Okay, yes. it took out that it took that took out that low, and then and then I'll tell you. Do you know why pullbacks happen? I I gave you the reason. Yeah, this was to the reason. mitigate the orders their previous. Yeah, orders. mitigate and then internal liquidity. And then, yeah, a pull pullback happens. A pullback happens once a major high or low has been taken out. A major one, okay. A major okay. high or low has to be taken out in order for us to expect a pullback. Okay, a major high or low has to be take, taken out. Okay? okay, now imagine there are dumb traders. Okay, now that's why we call them the smart money and us the dumb money. Okay, because we do not know how how to utilize our money in this market, so we become dumb, right? So now there are people who does this. Okay, there are people who does this. They will they'll only look at the lower time frames. Okay, now even the one hour is a lower time frame. They'll see this. Lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then now imagine how many people would have waited for this to happen. Lower highs, <laughs> lower lows. How many people would have waited? Yeah, even I was happen? waiting for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But now yeah. I know price has to pull back. The reason is because uh, this has been taken. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know. Now I know that, right? And then yes. you see. How many people would have looked at this thing right here? Okay. Yes. Now even smart money traders would do this. They would do this thing right here. Okay. Yes. They'll do that. And then, like I told you, the breakout traders, the breakout traders, or the traders who trade with the trend. Okay. The traders who trade only on the lower time frame would view all of these highs as strong highs, right? Because that's a lower high. That's a lower high. That's a lower high. That's a lower high, right? Yes. Because now price was retracing back down in a, uh, a bearish market, right? 
Yes. Because always remember, accumulation comes in a bearish counter trend and distribution comes in a bullish counter trend. I hope you know Wyckoff. No. no, not clearly, okay, but okay. I know about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah so about clearly. Wyckoff, now people would think um, schematics. Have you seen the schematics? They'll do yes, all of I've this. I've seen the schematics. Type, yes. Buying climax. And all. No, no, no. That's not what's important about Wyckoff. Okay. <laughs> what's important about Wyckoff is his laws. The three laws of Wyckoff. The first law being the, the law of supply, supply and demand. demand. Yeah. Yeah. The second one, the cause of the cause and effect. The third yeah. one. Um, the third one is the effort and result. Okay, so yeah. what 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 he saw about the market is that he thought uh, supply and demand is what runs the market. But no, now we know that supply and demand is not what runs the market. It's an algorithm. Okay, it's just an algorithm. That algorithm is what runs the market. But yeah, su supply and demand works too. That's all right. Okay, and then the second one is cause and effect. The cause being liquidity, and then the effect being the manipulation. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the effort and result. So to see effort and result, you need to use the volume indicator. Okay. Because that's the only way you can see the, the law of cause and uh, the law of effort and result. Because the effort means uh, you can view the effort through the size of the, um, the volume, volume bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the result is the candle, the candlestick. Because the price action, the price action, the candlesticks only tell you 50% of the story. Okay. The rest, the, the next fifty percent will be um, shown by the volume bars. Uh, so, All do right. you use them? No, I don't use them because I, I don't have to. Because if you know inducement, that's it. You don't need to know anything else. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then, now I'll tell you. Let's get back into this. So now people would see this as a downtrend, right? Lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. So now people would be Yes. Wait for this. We'll wait for this. So yes. now, which that it this will become an inducement, right? Yes. Now this is an inducement, and then, like I told you, uh, on a lower time frame, people would see this as a downtrend, and then I told you, above every swing high, there will yes. be buy stops. There will yes. be buy stops, right? Now yes. you see how how this liquidity has been fed into this POI. Now liquidity has been fed into this order block. That is yes. what makes it strong. Yes. Okay, that is what makes it strong. Okay, now yes. we know that, I told you, after a major high or low has been taken out, there needs to be a, a pullback, right? Now this, yes. is a, this was a major high because even the smart money traders got trapped here because they looked at this as an order block. Because you and it, I think it even gave a reaction. No, it, it did not. Okay. Now you see, price came yes. back into this POI. Price came back into this POI. And now we know because now these highs have been taken out. If yes. price keeps going higher, the people who placed buy stops here would be in profit. Yes. I told that to you. Okay. Yes. Now we know that price needs to pull back. And then. Yes. We, we need to focus on all of these tiny, tiny little details, okay? Yes. We have this break of structure on the one hour, okay? Yes. But on the four hour, on the four hour, this was our range from this high to this low. Yes. This was our range. So now, well, are we interested in selling? No, because why? We are in a discounted price. Always remember that. Yes. Okay. Always remember that. And now, once a break of structure happens, I told you, I told you, once a break of structure happens, okay, a new yes. trading range will be created. Now, what is our new trading range on the one hour? Okay. So that's why we need to be a dynamic trader. Yeah, okay. So we need to switch time frames. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is our new range from this yes. low to this high. And then I told you, once a new range has been created, there will be a trap within every range, which means that is yes. the internal range liquidity. Yeah, this... Now, do you see that clear order block right here? Yes. <laughs> How many people would have looked at that? Yeah, okay. a lot. So now, even me. Yeah, even <laughs> you. Now, yeah. now, based on the information I gave you right now, yeah. would you look at this as an order block? No, right? No, because you know definitely. this low yeah. will be taken out for sure. 
Yeah, I will now. look at this week or something. Yeah. Now I told you always choose the order block. Yeah, which is uh, closest. That's closest to the inducement. Now this is the inducement. Yes. This is the inducement. And then, what is the closest one? The fifty yeah, percent of this week. You see yes. That? Yeah. Okay. And then price came back down, took out all of the liquidity from this, and now do they have yes. any reason to go back down lower? No. no, right? Yeah. If they do that, the people who place the sell stop below this would be in profit. Yeah, and okay. they will move their now, stop losses to be. Yeah, to be break yeah. even and stuff. So they came back down, created a new range, and then where can we expect the ne next pullback from? So now this is ping pong. Okay, now this is ping pong. So you you could have done this. You could have bought from here, but you need to know the higher time frame perspective. Okay? Yes. We know that we're gonna expect pullback from here. So what we do is we buy from here. I I did that. I bought from here, and then I know where my next pullback zone yeah. is. I know that you post, you, you posted a case study about this, right? Yeah, I posted a case study. <laughs> so now I even bought from here. I think. Okay, and then now we have this inducement. So I told you after a major high or low has been taken out, there needs to be a pullback, and I even told you the reasons why. Okay. Yes. Now, no, once no. this high has been taken out, where will price go into? Where is the closest order block to the inducement? This price, only this because you see, this was pure price action, nothing inefficient price action. Okay. Price went back up and then came back down because they are seeking liquidity and then they'll destroy it. Okay. Now, where yes. is the liquidity right here? They'll take that out. And now, where is the next amount of liquidity? Below this low, they came back okay. down into it. Yes. Okay. Yes. And now, now, where is the next pullback zone? So now we know that price has to go back higher into a premium price on a four-hour time frame. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, until we go into a four-hour uh, a premium array, okay, price needs yes. to go in a bullish market structure, right? Yes. Bullish market. So now, now, so in a bullish market structure, so price will do this and then it will come back down right yes so now where will this this higher high form so if you know that you can do ping pong all day long where will this form yeah will this form? once once a major high or low has been taken out okay yes once a major low high or low has been taken out now right here we have these highs we have these highs okay yes we have these highs. and then you see Price just wicked it, is it? Oof, wicked it. Yes. Okay. And then, now do they have any reason to keep going higher? No. So now the thing is, the order block was not clear, right? The POI was not clear. Where did this mitigate into? It was not clear. Okay. Yes. So what we do is, as soon as this high has been taken out, I go to a one minute and then I'll sell it from there. I'll wait for a break of structure and I'll sell. That's what I would do. Okay. So like then, uh, you will not wait for it to return to the POI in the one minute. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how to trade before a break of structure. That's okay. a very advanced concept. Okay. I'll tell you how to trade without the break of structure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Based on based on one single candle. Okay. Based on one single candle. That's how we do it. Okay. So now you see price went back up, took up both of these highs, and then boom, came back down. And then now we did not refine this POI, right? So let's refine it. Let's now refine it. <laughs> See, even for refinement, I go to four hour. I don't go for lower time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, now, even though this was a, a stop hunt on a lower time frame on the fifteen minute, this was a stop hunt. I showed that you know. Yes. But you see, on the higher time frame, that's why I told you be a dynamic trade. Always switch time frames. On the four hour, this would be seen as equal highs. Right? Yes. This would be seen as equal as okay. okay. Now that's not the thing. We need to refine it. Okay. Now, how will you refine it? I told you about the weeks. Boom. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's refined. Okay. Yeah, but uh yeah, we it? look at the PY which is uh, which is the closest, right? Yeah, we I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Okay, don't worry, okay. I'll tell you. Yeah. Now let's go back down to a 15 minute. Once we go back down to the 15 minute, okay. This is what price did. 
<clears throat> okay. Now, price went back high, came back down low. Okay. And then okay, once yeah. again, it went back higher. Okay. Yes. It went back higher, and this was inside of the the four hour um, the unrefined POI. Yes. Okay. Now, if this high was to trust, okay, if this high was to trust, it should have done this. Yes. To break it should have trust. broken. Yes. Yeah. But did it break? No. No. Did it break? No. So now, on the fifteen minute, we have this range right here. You see how price is fractal, and this is how we use the uh, the fractal nature of the market. Okay. Yes. From this low to this high, we have a new range. So now, yes, price would come back inside of a discounted price. Now we know anything below this would be a discount price. Yes. Okay. And then you see it came back down. Now where is the external range liquidity? Right Above here. This high. Yes. Okay, about this, which means now the people who trade with the trend, they will place their buy stop above this. Okay. Yes. They place their buy stop above this. So now, you see what the market did. What the banks or the or anyone who can who controls the market, this is what they did. Okay. Yes. They took out that high and then boom, came back down. Because why? Buy stops were resting, and if yes. they keep continuing, yeah, if they continue going higher. Okay, the people who placed buy stops here would be in profit. So, yes. do they want us to make profit? No, obviously, no. So, they pulled back down, they pulled back down, and then and now you see this. Um, you see this highs right here. Now, on a lower yes. time frame, this would be viewed as a resistance, right? Because, yes, this is um, one, two, three, four, five. This is six. Six fifteen minute candles. Yeah, one and okay. a half hour. Yes. Yeah, one and a half hour. Which means now, so when Jet would have taught you this, BFIs are stacking orders. Yes. Because why? There's a lot of highs in the same place, and even yes. the support and resistance traders, they wouldn't just do a line like this. They would mark this whole area as a resistance, right? Yes. Now, now, what makes this POI high probable? What makes it high probable? The inducement below is this. You see that? The inducement. Yes. The inducement is what makes it high probable. And the next thing we know is that price has no reason to go above this because on the four hour time frame, this was just pure, like it was just a, a huge imbalance, right? There was yes. nothing clear on the four hour. So now we know price has no reason to go above this, right? Price has no, no reason to go above this on the four hour. Could so this, you, may, uh, you see all of these weeks, but we, yes. we need to know about the higher time frame because on the four hour yes. it was just nothing. Nothing. So why yes. would price react off here? Why would it yes. react off here? There's nothing, right? Yes. Yeah. They'll always do something very logical. Okay. Very logical. So now if you go to the 15 minute. I hope that made sense. Yes. Okay. Now, what makes this POI high probable is the inducement. You see that? that yes. Is the inducement. Okay. Now, this was a low. This was a high. Okay. And then you see what happened? Price yes. went higher, took out all of this liquidity. And then mitigated right into that order block, the final order block where price could go into. Okay. And we yes. had the inducement right here. And then price broke minus structure right here. Okay. Broke that structure. Yes. Broke minus structure. And then it broke even this low right here. Yes. Okay. Which means now we have the bearish intent. Now, now we know that price has switched into a bearish market. Okay. Yes. And then, what did I tell you? What did I tell you earlier? I told you, if price breaks structure, and if it retraces, and if it breaks structure once again, okay? Yes. Now, the um, the breakout traders would view this high as a strong high. Yes. Okay? So, I yes. told you. I told you. I told you. Now, you see, price is very fractal. Okay? 
Now imagine none of that happened on the right side. We have a new range. So we, we, we broke structure. I told you, once a breakup structure happens, we have a new range. So now the new range would be from this high, okay, from this high to this low, okay. And then, and then I told you, within every range, there will be a trap, okay. So first, the first thing we would do is we would mark for discount and premium prices. All right. Now we know anything about this would be a premium price, okay. Yes. And then, and now the next thing is. I told you, within every range, within every new range, there will be a trap. So now, like I told you, they do not want us to make money. The same things come, come once again. And then if they don't want us to do that, would they give it that easily? <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Definitely no, right? Now imagine yes. how many people, now, even though it got induced right here, it got induced, you see? We yes. have a lot of stack ties right here. Okay. Yes. It got in this, but why why didn't it work out? Because this was a very clear order block. Okay. Many people would have viewed this, right? Yes. Many people would have viewed this. Because you you just see how clear it is. See how yes. clear it is. Okay. Many people would have seen this as a good order block. Okay. So now, based on the information I gave you earlier, you know that this order block will not work out even though it has an inducement. Yes. Okay, even though it has an inducement, it will not work out because why? Many people would have viewed this, right? Many people. Yes. Now we have identified our trap, right? We have identified the main trap within the range. Okay, we have identified yes. the main trap within the range. Now and then uh, I unfortunately I can't go back down to the one minute time frame. Okay. I'll just explain what happened. Now now we're in the um, 15 minute time frame from this side to this low. Okay. Now imagine what would have happened on the one minute. Why should I have come back down like this? Right. Yes. So, okay. And then we have a inducement right here. We have the inducement right here. Okay. So I told you always choose the order block that's closest to the inducement. Okay. And then on the one minute, okay, on the one minute, there was an order block. I took this cell, okay, there was an order block right here, okay. This order block was the reason for this break of structure. You see, now on the one minute, this could have happened, right? Now, you, you will hesitate right now. Which one would be my right order block on the one minute? Is it this? Is it this? Oh, is it this? Okay, you would yes. have hesitated, right? Yes. And now we even have a inducement right here. Okay, yes. We even have a inducement right here. And then on the one minute, you can see now you see this major break of structure. Okay, that's a major break of structure. Okay, this is what would have happened on the one minute time frame, right? I'm talking yes. about this price action. On the one minute, and then I told you this was the major break of structure. This, this, yes, okay, okay. yes, okay. And then you see how price the real, the real bearish momentum came in after this push higher. You see that, yes, because this was the order block that broke major structure, major structure. You see, that? yes. This was the order. I'm sorry, I can't go back down to one minute because it's not the premium. <laughs> okay, so now price went higher and then broke this major structure. This. Okay, so now which one would we choose? Now we know this is where the real moment where um the bear stepped into the market. Okay. Okay. And then that POI was right here, and now we know that there's a lot of liquidity resting above this. Tons of liquidity resting above this. A pool yes. of liquidity. Okay. And then you see how it came back high? Boom. You see? All of the liquidity has been taken out from this high. Okay. Yo, yes. can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And then now imagine if we were only on the 15 minute time frame, 
okay if we were on the on the 15 meter time frame we would have exceeded right here right yes that is the reason i told you we need to always stay on the higher time frame perspective okay now if we go to the four hour if we go to the four hour now internal range liquidity has been taken out so now yes where is the external range liquidity below this low below this yes yes you see that's yeah one two that's a one to 99 <laughs> see <laughs> yes is the risk to your ratio no yes that's the one to 99 the crazy right <laughs> that's yes the one to 99 because i i exited i took out my full partial at this low okay full amount because i know by that to come back up because you all even injectors that you need to always make the story behind your trade okay or else you will get lost yes and that tells you that right and yes. that tells you that even I, the I, I got that phantom from does that yeah i got that from india okay. then i'm just showing you all the high probable trades okay uh, so once we go back into um the lower time frames onto on to the one minute <laughs> you know what i mean okay yeah now price did this came back down okay and then i told you about about the climax reversal right i told you earlier yes now wouldn't you see this as a climax reversal because it took out liquidity from this high and then boom it broke structure heavily it even broke yes. the structure and then now this price have any reason to now many people would have looked at this right but now does it have any reason to get back into this high no right there's no, no yes There's yes no liquidity so which means liquidity is what drives the market and now there is no liquidity for this high to be mitigated right yes and then so the price came back up and then you see without any reason it just drops from here now why why did it like why what was the reason for price to turn from right here no reason right yeah uh... nothing, nothing clear and then so i told you market structure is very important so now we have this high and then this is the low we would take into consideration okay because now you see there was no liquidity there was no liquidity for price to go back into this which means there is no internal range liquidity so there needs to be internal range liquidity right yes now now what they did with liquidity okay because now they have a reason now they have a reason to go higher you see that uh, can you explain it one more so time once all of this uh, yeah am i am i not clear uh, uh, your voice was not audible am i clear now uh, yeah okay. no now, it now is still not clear? clear yes it is clear uh, okay okay can you hear me now yes clearly Okay, sure. Ah, uh, yes. Can you uh, start again with uh, the yeah. uh, the climax climax reversal? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now I told you about the climax reversal, right? Now you see, price has no reason to go back into this high because there is no liquidity. Yes. There's no liquidity. Yeah. Okay. Now, so if there is no liquidity, they have to create liquidity, right? Yes. They have to do an inducement. Okay. So now. Yes. all of these highs will act as inducement for higher prices now they have a reason to go higher okay so now would you trust any of these highs this order block pointing in this area or this area would you trust it no right no right yeah. Yeah. Okay. so then this is how price came back up and then even though it did not go this higher okay it took a uh, your voice is still this high. you see that? Uh, your voice was uh, again stacking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm not able to hear anything if you are saying something. Okay, give me a minute now. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. 
Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so now this is what price did. Okay, from this high, from sorry, okay, from this high to this low is a new range. Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, I can hear you. Uh, like on the fifteen minutes time frame, that will be our range. Yeah. Yeah, on the fifty minute, I'm talking about fifty minute. Okay? okay, from this uh, high, to this low would be a new range. Okay, because okay. why? If you take this low, where is the internal range liquidity? There was no internal range liquidity, right? Uh, so they need like, to uh, an internal we, range liquidity. Can we yeah, not so. consider this as an uh, as internal range liquidity, like for this one? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. But now to fill all of these imbalances, is there any liquidity? No. No, right? Yes. No, no. there is no liquidity. So why would now, is there any reason to for price to go back higher into this? No, right? No. no. There's nothing in this area. You see that? So yes. then what price did was this. It went back high and then broke structure right here yes right here okay it broke structure and then this was like it came back down okay it came back down right here but you see this was not even a tick so even on a on a 50 second time frame there would have there would have no can also have been below this flow right yes but this was just only a tick you can see that and we on the 50 minute time frame okay and then i told you where did the major break of structure happen? After this. See yes. It's where the major break of structure happened. So imagine this did not happen. Okay. Now price broke this structure. Price broke structure right here. Okay. Yes. And then where where so where did the real momentum come from? Right here. Okay. Right here. Yes. And then there is even order flow present right here, you see? Yes. So it filled this imbalance and then mitigated this, this mitigated this, from this week or something, and then this mitigated this. So which means now where is the liquidity on this week? On this week. Okay? Yes. Can you understand it? So, and now we have these highs right here. So you see, there's a lot of things you need to take into consideration. Not only inducement and order flow. Many things, okay? Many things. Not only inducement. So you see that? Price took out yeah. all of these highs and then dropped down heavily. You see that? It came back down heavily. Yes. Hope it's clear. Okay? So now, we have a new range. Once the break of structure happens, we have a new range. Okay? We have a new range. Can you yes. understand that? Yes. Okay. Now, a new range. So, do you know about strong highs, weak highs, and strong lows and weak lows? Uh, I know, know but if you can also explain it, it will yeah. be better. So now, if price does this, if, it, if price takes out liquidity and then break the low that created the high, if it does this, so uh, simply, if, if it takes out liquidity and if it breaks structure, Okay, this will be considered as a strong high. Okay, that's simple. Okay. It takes out liquidity and breaks structure. That's a strong high, which means now there is presence of order flow. Okay, uh, which means now the BFIs are right here, so they will uh, hold this high. Okay. Okay. That's a strong high. If it takes out liquidity and if it breaks structure, it's a strong high. All right. Yes. Okay, and then uh, vice versa for the other one. If it takes out liquidity and if it breaks structure, it's a strong low. Okay, yes. it's a strong low. Okay, yeah. Now, if it takes out liquidity, but if it does not break structure, if it does this, it's a weak high. Okay, price okay. will take out that high too. So, if, if it took out liquidity and if it does not break this low right here, this is a weak low, weak high. I'm sorry. Okay. That's simple. Okay. 
It's very simple. So is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, it is clear. Okay, okay. So vice versa, if it takes out liquidity, and if it does not break the structure right here, this is a weak loop. Uh, take out that loop too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I not clear? Uh, you are not audible clearly again. I don't know. It's raining heavily. That's it. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Are you speaking sure. something? Uh, Can you hear me now? Uh, now? Yes. Yes. Wait, wait, there's some there. Uh, give me a minute. Hello. Yes, you are audible now. Can you hear me now, bro? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry for this inconvenience. There's some problem with my connection. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Now, I told you, once a break of structure happens, a new range will be created. Okay? Yes. Once a break of structure happens, a new range will be created. Now, right here, we have this range from this high to this low. Okay? Uh, yeah. Everything in between will be intermediate term structure, like I told you earlier. Okay? Uh, can you uh, please speak again? Uh, like, <laughs> your voice was again like... Uh, like uh, what, uh, like it is, uh, uh, what should I say? Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Now, now it'll be all right. Okay. Now it'll be all right. So now yeah. we have a new range from this high to this low. Yes. Okay. A break so, uh, happen. And then, yeah. What is it? Again, like I have, uh, the problem is with structure only. Like this is, this yeah, should be yeah. our, this can be our, uh, like, because there is an inducement layer, right? Where? Yeah. Okay, but, but, yeah. but, but has, it, has it been taken out? No, right? Uh, you were not audible. Higher. And then? Uh, no? <laughs> you were again not audible me? when you were sp speaking about this. Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Okay. With the connection. <laughs> Uh, if you're speaking Not something, I cannot hear you. Right? Now can you hear me? Uh, still not here. Uh, audible. Give me a minute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, you are audible. I hope you are not speaking anything. Okay, okay. can you hear me now? I'm fixing the connection. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry for that. Now, like I told you, once a break of structure happens, there will be a new range created. Okay? Yes. Okay. Now, 
So you were stuck here, right? Uh, yes. So you would consider this as a low and this as a high? Yes. Okay, but now, is internal range liquidity been taken up? No, right? We created equal low, equal highs. Uh, yes. You see that? Yeah. So now, we would not view this as a high. And okay. I told you, if price takes up liquidity and breaks structure, it would be a strong high. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then, and then I told you, once a new range has been created, now we have this high and we have this low. Okay, once once a new range has been created, what do we do? We look for discount and premium prices. Yes. Okay. Now we know anything about this would would as uh, uh, premium price premium price. Yes. Yeah. And then we have this clear order block. Now would you trust this? No, right? No. No, because many people would view that. So now we know our trap. We know where the internal range liquidity is. See that? Yes. This is our trap now. Okay, this is our trap. Yes. And then, and then I told you, always choose the one closest to the inducement. And then, what do we have above this? So I'm not going into the uh, one minute time frame. Okay. Yeah. I'm just telling you. We, I told you about the wicks. I told you about the wicks. You see that? You see? Yeah, right. we have a buy to sell. Yeah, we have a buy to sell, and on the one minute we will have this thing right here. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, uh, so um, on the MTM MT4 server, this was mitigated. Uh, can you increase your uh, audio? Know? Okay. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So now, on the MT4, this was mitigated. This thing right here. Okay. Okay. And then what on so if it's mitigated, what's on the fifty percent? Another order block. Yes. Right? I told you. So then we could have done this right here. But you see, uh, uh, one pip stop loss that's not possible on MP4. Okay. So now we we'll take this whole thing. We need to have the same stop loss. Okay. Yeah. And then price took out these highs. You see, everyone who sold from this high will be taken out and then see that? yeah it's telling oh. but uh, like if uh, if mt4 allowed uh, for a one pip stop loss we would have taken they, they uh, do not allow it because if you if you make a um, what do you call that um spread will open up uh, the and then what um, like uh, you were not audible the earlier game ah. <laughs> can you hear me now ah uh, yes yeah so now if you risk around 500 dollars per trade like yes. per, on one pip okay on a one pip stop loss the yes. spread will widen up the spread will open up and your trade will be taken out okay that okay. happens so we need to always have the safe stop loss of around 1.5 people or something. That's safe. They can't do a huge manipulation. The brokers can't do that. Okay? Okay. And now, if we enter here, where will we exit? External range liquidity. Yes. That's it. You see that? That's a 1 to 17. Yes. That's a 1 to 17. And then, on the higher time frame, this is our target. See that? Yes. 1 to 26. Okay, so that's how we do it. And then now, uh, uh, you are not audible again, Agar, if you are speaking something. I told you about this. It is stuck like. Can uh, you hear me now? No, not clearly. Give me a minute.
Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry for this. Uh, uh, no, audio is still very low. Now? Uh, still very low. Why is that? I have full connection. Just check your connection for me. Uh, okay, give me a minute, okay? Okay. I think it is working properly. Okay, so can you hear me now? Uh, yes. I hope it's clear. Uh, I'm sorry for this shit. I don't know why it's happening. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, I, I, I told you about this, right? I told you yes. about this week. Yes. Okay. So now, price tap right into this. Okay? And I told you about strong highs and strong lows. I told yes. you about this. Okay? Now, if we go to the 30 minute, and I told you that every range, uh, every time pay will have its own trading range. I told that to you. Okay. Now, yes. what we could see is price took out liquidity from all of these lows and then it broke structure right here. It broke structure. Okay. Now, this has to be a strong low. Why? Because it took out liquidity and then it broke structure. Okay. And on yes. the weekly time frame, we were in a discounted price. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, yes. uh, price. Yeah. What's it? Uh, this is our uh, uh, lower high because we uh, we have we had uh, internal liquidity, right? Yeah, we had internal. So uh, that's why this is our liquidity. Uh, and this, if uh, there was uh, if it didn't have yeah. any internal liquidity then uh, this would be a, would be a, would have been an inducement and uh, this would have been our real yeah that right? would have been an inducement yeah and that would have been a real high if there was no inducement yes okay okay yeah and then you see it broke the structure came back up and then yes. broke structure once again which makes this the lower high now yes and then it tapped right into this order block and it yeah. broke structure yeah, now I'm understanding. Now we this. have bullish intent. They have awesome, awesome. Now, now we have bullish intent, which yes. which came from. Okay. Uh, and now no, we no, broke. No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, when you were speaking uh, something of, about uh, yeah, bullish intent, uh, your voice completely went off. Yeah. Uh, can still... you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. You know, yeah, like you? there might be a problem with my connection too. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, the videos are working fine. Yeah, YouTube videos are working fine. I have. Uh, yeah, that's it. Mine also works fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Am I clear? And can you see my screen clearly? Yes, yes, I can see your uh, sc uh, screen clearly. And like, but only sometimes it happens that uh, your voice goes down to like, them uh, uh, extremely low, that. like. I cannot hear anything like sometimes. Oh, okay. So you can hear me now, right? Yes. Yeah. So are you speaking something of, uh, right now? Uh, because I cannot hear anything if you are speaking right now. Okay. 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 Uh, do you use Google Meet? Okay, so can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sure. Yes. Can you continue with the bullish intent after this, like on this candle? Yeah, so yeah. this is what happened. On the, th on the 30 minute time frame, okay? Now, yes. you see, external range liquidity has been taken out. 
Okay. Yes. Uh, it is stuck again. It is stuck again. Uh, it is stuck again. I cannot hear anything. What? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. There's a problem with the connection. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, do you use Google Meet? Um, no, bro. So uh, like, I, I think have, it might work. Do you have Discord? Do yes, have I Discord? have Discord. Yes. So shall we try, try Discord or something? But let's see now if it, if it okay. happens once again. Let's try Discord. Okay. okay. Uh, we can also try Google Meet because uh, it will be very easy to use and yeah, is that an app or something? Uh, no, no. Google Meet is a. Uh, no, right? We can just use a website. Ah, okay, okay. So if it if this happens once again, let's try Google Meet. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now we have this happen. Price came back down. Lower lows, yes. lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and like a uh, break up structure. Yeah, what is it? Won't this be used as an inducement because there was no uh, this this. No. Thing. But, but the thing is, okay, but the thing is, price has to retrace back in, like, after this break of structure happens, okay, yes. a major high or low has to be taken out for a pull. Yes. Now, yes. this is not a major high. This is not a major high because, you see, it, it was like an intermediate term structure, right? Within all of this. So, but can you see this thing right here? So, like, once you see this, you'll know this is a major structure because why? There was this clear order block right here see that, you uh, see that? yes there yes clear order block but what was there right here nothing right nothing yes and and no one no, and not any smart money trader would do this no one would sell from this thing right here because that's too big now the the, the best the what we call it the most important thing for a smart money trader would be their aura right the risk yes. reward so would they do this would they take a stop loss of this no right so they, they wouldn't do that. So that's why I told you, you need to take into consideration like a lot of stuff, all the tiny details. Now this is a major high. Okay. This is a major high. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm clear. And then you see price went high and then it took out this high right here. And then now what do we know? We need to expect the pullback. Yes. Okay? Yes. Now. Once this break of structure happens, and then you see price did this high highs, high lows. We did this, okay? We did this, and then we broke structure right here, okay? Yes. Okay, and then I do. Can you remove this annotation for a while? Uh, <laughs> okay. so I told you this. Yes. If price breaks structure, and if it retraces, and if it breaks structure once again. Okay, how would yes. the breakout traders view this as? A strong low. A strong yes. low. That's how they've been taught. So now, yes. that's the only inducement I can see right now within this range. Now, this is our new range from this low to this high. Okay? Now, yes. if I mark out the discount and premium prices, I know that anything below this would be my POI or my order block. So I have this. So this big right here and this. So now, so, uh, then, yeah, what is it? Can't this be used as an inducement? Which one? Yeah. No, but where, where could it come into? Where could it come into? Hmm? Where could it come into? And I don't think yeah. it was in a discounted price. No, right? You see? But still it can be price. used as an inducement, right? Yeah, it can be used as an inducement. And after these lows were taken out, there was a reaction on the one minute. Okay, there was a good reaction on the one minute time frame because now, now remember, remember we are on the 30 minute time frame. Okay, okay. Yes. and then from this low to this high was our new range. Okay, and then price broke structure right here. It broke structure. I took a sale from up here and then I posted a case study about this. Okay, I'm sure you would have seen that. Okay, and then it okay. broke structure and then. 
I told you what is the inducement now. This right here. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then I told you. Oh, this I I. Uh, are you speaking something? Because it is. Uh, I cannot hear you. If you are speaking something now. Can you hear me now? Ah uh, yes. Now. Uh. Your audio is low. Audio is low. So now? Uh, no, now it is clear. Okay, okay. So I told you, I would always choose the POI that has Which been induced. Yes. Yeah, it has been induced. Now, you see that? Yes. Okay, see that? Now, even though this low has been taken out, okay, price was retracing back down in a bearish market structure like this. Yes. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And this high, low was taken out. But did it really feel the imbalance? No, right? It came oh, here. Yes. And then it went back high. Now, if it did this, you would have taken this low as a good low, a strong low. Yes. It took out liquidity from these lows and it struck. But now it did not. So now, so now, this will act as inducement. Okay? Because now yes. there is liquidity resting below it. Yes. Now you see, price took out that low, went higher, broke minor structure. Now I, I'll, I'll go to the one minute and show that to you, okay? Don't worry. Now I'll go to the 15 minute. I'll go to the 15 minute. And I told you, I told you, right? ICT is, is the person who teaches the best stuff, okay? Not useless stuff. He's the one who teaches the real stuff. No, no. Okay? He does not teach, uh, I didn't say that he teaches useless stuff. Like it, his yeah. teaching method is not good. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> I, he talks about a lot of things which are not related to this. Yeah, not related. Concepts. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but he gives the best. Now, can you tell me what this reacted of? How did this form? Not phantom, not tangent, nobody would teach that. That yeah, is the this slave block. <laughs> no. A breaker yeah, that block. The induced, no. This is what we call a reclaimed block. Okay, I'm not going to teach you that because that's not like it's not very useful because order blocks and the breaker blocks are at place most of the time but this okay but this is a reclaimed block okay i'll just tell okay. that you i'll just explain it to you later okay or else i'll okay. i'll send you uh, uh what do we call i'll send you the video about reclaimed block so that you'll understand okay, okay? this is a reclaimed block for now so now what price did was this came back down, took out all of these highs, yes. retraced back into the reclaimed block, and then came back down once again. Okay, now yeah. we have a new range from this high to this low. So I told you, once a new range has been created, we look for discount and premium prices like yes. this. Okay. And now we know that anything above this would be a premium price. Okay. Yes. Now, I told you, once a new range has been created, the, the main thing we need to do is identify the trap. Now imagine yes. how many people would have looked at this order block. Okay. Yes. How many people would have looked at that order block. And the next thing I told you is, once the climax yes. reversal happens, okay, now people would have waited for this, right? They would have yes. waited for this order block to play out. Yeah. But why didn't it come back into this? There was no inducement. There was yes. no inducement. There was no liquidity to, for price to come back into this side. Yeah. Okay. The price does now, not move this much many bits. Yeah, this much. Yeah, exactly. You've got the point. Now, now this is the order block most of the people would have looked at, right? Yes. Okay. Many people would have looked at this thing. But now, okay, the, the reason for me to not uh, look at this as a high probable order block is that there is no inducement. Okay, there is no inducement. Um, uh, this, people, yeah, but yeah, yeah, this thing, this, this order block, this order block right here. Yes, okay. Now, people would have looked at this. So, I told you, do what the rest is not doing. Okay, now, now the fun begins. Okay, now the fun begins. I told you, we must identify the trap. So, now we know that. There is a pool of liquidity resting above this high because why? Smart money traders place their stop above this. Okay. 
Can you hear me? Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my my uh, mic uh, my mic was off, so and I forgot okay. to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now if I now I'm going to the one minute. Okay. Now the fun begins. Okay. Yeah. That's my favorite time frame. Okay. The one minute. <laughs> okay. Now we have this order block right here. Yes. Okay. We have this. Now, most of the smart money traders would have looked at this order block, right? Because why? It's in a premium price. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. I told you, we do not trust clear order blocks because why? Now, if you can see this order block, then so yeah, can the other can see it. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm going back to one minute. Now, the fun begins. Okay. I hope I can go that far. Yeah, yeah. Now, even though people might not trade order blocks and stuff, but they, they still know yeah. about, about them. Yeah, 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 they still know about them. Okay. Okay. And now, I told you, yeah. this is that 15 minute order block. Okay. This is yes. that 15 minute order block. So now, if this move was a real genuine move, okay, they would have yes. come back higher and then feel this little imbalance, right? Yes. They would have done that. But why, why didn't they do that? I told you, we always choose the POI that's closest to the inducement. Yes. Okay? Now, they yes. cannot go higher. They cannot go higher. So now, if this was a genuine move, they could have come back higher and then feel this imbalance, right? But yes. why didn't they do that? They will create a ton of liquidity above this high and then they'll take out all of those highs and then tap into this imbalance. That is their intention now. You see how much of things the one minute chart shows you? Yes. The one minute chart is not noise, like actually. It's the one that is that has the most amount of details. So now I told you, do what the rest is not doing. This is what we would do now. You see that? Yes. Because you know for sure this high will be taken out. You yes. See you know that. I, like now, based on the information I gave you, you know that it will happen for sure. Okay. Now this was our new range from this high to this low. That was our new range on the 50 minute, right? Yes. Okay. Now, I'll even tell you about this because I was back testing it and it was crazy. Okay. Now, I told you. Imagine how many people would have looked at this order block. How many people looked at that? Okay. Because it was clear. It yes. had a huge imbalance. Okay. How yes. many people would have looked at that? Now, I told you. Will they play out? No. And if this was a genuine move, they could have come back higher and then feel this imbalance, right? Yes. They could have done that, but they did not. So now, when the other people do this, what I do is, I'll do this. Yeah. Okay. We will I'll use this. this. We yeah, we can use that. So, yeah, we can go to the one minute and refine it. Okay. Now, let's go to a one minute. Let's go to a one minute and then where was I? Right here. Right here. Okay. Now, on yes. the 15 minutes, this was my new range from this high to this low. And then now let's refine this thing. I told you about this clear order block, right? You see? Yes. Now, if this was a genuine move, they could have come back up right here and then feel this imbalance, right? But why did they leave it? They, they fed liquidity into this POI. You see that? They fed liquidity into this. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So now, this is my POI. So the other people would have looked at that 50 meter order block right here. But what would I view? This thing right here. Because I know that there's a ton of liquidity resting above this. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I know that this will be taken out. And where will price come into? The closest the closest POI to the inducement. So this yes. is the closest one, right? Okay. Yes. Now, now the fun begins. Okay. This is the 15 minute range from this high to this low. Okay. And yes. have you seen, have you seen I mark something? Uh, have you seen I mark uh, a gray color rectangle on my chart? Okay. That is the Asian range. So have you heard of, uh, heard of the Asian range? Yes. Okay. So yes, now, I've heard Asian of that, but range. I've never used it. Okay. Like the people use, use it as use, liquidity, use. right? Yeah, Asian that's the guide. Use. That's the guide to um, that's the guide to these intraday traders. 
that's what guide the intraday traders to where the most amount of liquidity is okay now for yes. me so you're from india right yes so for us the asian range starts from 2 30 a.m and then it ends at 9 30 a.m okay and 9 30 a.m because 9 30 a.m is when the um what do you call it that's the opening price okay that's 12 a.m new york time 12 a.m new york time okay because i told you an algorithm is what runs the market okay yes am i clear yes. Okay. Yes. an algorithm is what runs the market and that algorithm operates uh, it basically re resets at 12 a.m new york time okay okay so that's when the Asian session ends. Now, this is my Asian range. Okay. Now, I'll show you. I'll show you how much fun this is. Now, this is my 15 minute range from this high to this low. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Now, now, price was retracing back in a bearish counter trend like this. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Did this lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, break of structure, broke structure right here. You see that? Yes. Broke structure right here. So now, yeah, what is it? I wanted to ask if you take the continuation trades. Ah uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you how you can okay. take continuations, reversals, anything, anything. Okay, basically anything. Okay. okay. Now even here I took a trade because why? Because why? Right here I took a trade because we had this inducement, this clear order block yes. inducement, yes. and then on the thirty second I saw something here like this. Uh, what is second. this? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, how do you, how did you mark this uh, block? This thing on the third yes. second there was an order block right here. Okay, because okay. I can't go back down that far. That was on thirty second. Okay. Okay. And yeah. then we had this. This was my target. And then sold from here. That's why I told you it happens all the time. Okay. okay. It happens all the time. So uh, like okay. uh, that's a one to five, a quick one to five. Here also we had uh, we had inducement and like yeah we had inducement and then fifty percent of this order block would have paid us a lot yes right here because why what makes this high probable what makes this high probable the inducement yes okay if there is no inducement yeah the problem uh, problem comes when there are multiple inducements like yeah, yeah. yeah this okay. can also be used as an inducement which one, which one? Uh, this one, one. I marked right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why can it be marked? Can it why? not be used? Like no, no. There needs to be a clear inducement. Okay, by inducement I mean clear uh, inducement. The market makers or the banks they have to force people into doing something wrong so that now. Now, the market makers know that you trade all of these supply zones, demand zones, order blocks, IFCs, whatever you want to call it. Okay. The market makers know that you do that. Okay. Now, the market makers know that you do that. Okay. Okay. They yeah. know that. So, they, what they do is they will show you exactly what you need to see. Okay. So, that yeah, yes. you will get induced. Okay. Now, yes. you can backtest it. Okay. You can backtest this and then. While backtesting, you will see it worked out. You will see it worked out. So once yeah. you see it on the real market, on the live market, you think to yourself, ah, okay, I saw this while backtesting. So this is going to play out. And then yes. you will invest your hard-earned money on that and yes. it gets taken out. That is what yes. happens. Okay. Yes. And then even right here, even right here, if this was a genuine move, they could have, they could have failed this, right? But why yes. did they leave it? Why did they leave it? They need to have a reason to do something. Yes. Okay. Before any move in the market, there needs to be a reason. Okay. Now you see that the imbalance was not filled. Okay. It's not filled yet. So now this will be a good POI. Okay. A good POI because why? There was inducement. And what do I mean by inducement? Okay. Why? Why was this a clear inducement? Price was retracing back down in a bearish counter trend like this. Yes. Okay, 
and yes. then I told you, on a downtrend, all of the lower highs are protected, right? The lower yes. highs are protected on a downtrend. Yes. So now, what do the breakout traders and the people who trade with the trend, what do they do? They will place their buy stops above all of the protected highs. That's yes. what they do. Okay, that is what yes. they do. And I told you, after a major break of trust happened, I'm sorry, after a major high or low has been broken, there needs to be a pullback. I told that to you. Okay. Yes. And now, we're going to use the fractal nature of the market. Okay, to have fun. Actually. Okay. Now, we have this POI. And then, we have this trap. Induced we have now. this trap. We yes. have this inducement. Okay. Yeah. Now, price is fractal. Okay, price is fractal. So, price was coming back down like this. And then, it broke structure right here. First structure was broken right here. And then the second structure was broken right here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, and then, okay. Now I'll I'll show you this. I came into the chart at around this time of the day. I came at around um. I came at around okay nine thirty. Nine thirty was when I entered the market. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I was talking about this trade only. Yeah. I'll yeah. show it to you. Okay. I'll this show one. it to you. I'll show you every single reason why. Okay. Now, what I saw was like the first thing I did was I marked all of this. I marked all of this. Okay. I marked all of yes. this, and now I know where I am currently at, uh, according to the high time frame. And then I saw this happen. Okay. I saw this. You see this equal lows right here. Price took them out. You see this equal yes. lows. Yes. Okay. Yes. Took out those equal lows and then fill this imbalance right here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fill that imbalance. And then this is what we could see on the lower time frame, on the circles time frame. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, break of structure. Okay. If price broke structure right here. Okay. Yep. Okay, price broke structure right here. And then I told you, if it takes out liquidity and if it breaks structure, it's a strong low. Yes. yes. And then price mitigated this. Okay, now there is order flow. But even though there is order flow, where is the inducement for this thing? Where is the inducement? There's no inducement, right? There's no inducement. And then price went higher. Uh, isn't this down. an inducement? Which one? No, 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 no. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an inducement. I'm sorry. That's an inducement. On a second time frame, people would view this as equal lows, right? Because have you heard of those traders who trade on the pick chart? It's means the one second chart. They trade on the one. They trade forex on the one second chart. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> so I told you, price is fractal. So even on the one second chart, they will create liquidity. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. And then, what did they do? Came back down, went back higher. Now, now. So, have you heard of these triangle traders? <laughs> okay. You see that? Now, there's a triangle for me. Uh, you are not audible again. Oh. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, have you heard of these people called yes, yes. triangle traders? <laughs> You see this? Yes. Play triangle for me. Okay. Now you see, I told you, pay attention to the to the slightest details. Okay. And even NJAC teaches this. This is BFY stacking up orders. Arrange yes. the market sideways price action. Yes. Okay. Sideways price action. Yes. And then now ask yourself, where did the real bullish momentum came into the market? You see? Thing right here is bigger than all of the previous bullish candles, right? The single yes. candle. Where did it originate from? Right here. And now, what makes it high probable? What makes it high probable? The inducement just above it. The inducement. You see that? BFY stacking up orders. Yes. You see that? The inducement. And then see what they see what price did? Came right into it. Came right into it. You see this? 
Yes. So what? So this was my first first flight. This was my first flight. So uh, if the yeah, so the mean? more the inducement is closer to a POI, the stronger that POI is. Yeah, the stronger the POI is. Okay, you see that? Like yeah. if you get the right entry, it does not shit around your entry. You see that? It just goes. It goes. Yes. It like it has no reason to stay there. Yes. Okay. Now yeah. you see where would my target be? I told you about this thing right here. I told you once a major yes. high or low has been broken, there needs to be a pullback, right? Yes. So now this is my first target. Boom. This is my first target. Okay. That yes. was my first sell. I'm sorry, first long position. And then, and then, you see how they induce more and more people into doing the wrong things. Yes. See, even though it took out this, even though it took out the trap, did it really feel the imbalance? No. No, right? It did not no. feel the imbalance. Now, now, this can be viewed as equal height from this high to this high, right? Yes. Because this was only like um, a 0 0.1 pip because nobody would place a stop loss on 0 0.1 pip thing. Okay. Now, clearly, now clearly, this was a false move, right? This yes. was clearly a false move because why? It took out the trap, but it did not feel the imbalance. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now, now, this is what I could see. Price is now bullish. Broke the structure, went higher highs, came back down, created a higher low, and then created another higher high. Okay. Yes. So you know and what then, is happening is right now you are creating a higher. High. Yeah. After now you are done. Created a higher no, high. No. What I'm trying yeah? to say is uh, the uh, because of the uh, internet connection. Oh. When you were done speaking, <laughs> it was forming the higher. Okay, okay. I'll tell that to you once again. <laughs> yes. okay. No, no, I uh, understood it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just telling you about the... Yeah. <laughs> the trap has been taken out. The imbalance was not fully filled. Okay? Yes. And then, now we have this it broke structure right here. Yes. And then price went higher highs, higher lows, and a new higher high. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I told you. So once, uh, I have a question. Yeah. So what like, uh, yeah, this won't this be considered a new uh, new high because we we do have in inducement here, but yeah, the, uh, the distance is high. Yeah, that the, the distance is too much, right? The distance yeah. is too much. Okay. You okay. see, there was no inducement for this. Now I'll tell you. I told you once a break of structure happens. A new yes. range will be created. Now, what's our range from this low right here to this high right here? Okay. okay. So now, once that happens, we determine our premium and discount prices. All right. Now we know anything below this would be a good POI because why? It's yes. a discount price. And now. Uh, are you? I hope you are not speaking anything because Who's I cannot uh, hear anything. No, right? Uh, I okay. could not hear oh, anything. Okay. Now, now is it clear? Okay, yes. can you hear now? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now, if they do not want us to make money, uh, like after you, after you made yeah, the premium and discount, uh, I I ah, could okay. not hear anything. Okay. Now we have our premium and discount prices. Yes. Okay. And then we know that anything below this would be a good POI. The reason is yes. we've seen a discount. Uh, can you price. increase the audio? Okay. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, and then if they do not want us to make money, would they give it to us this easy? No, right? No. Yeah. No. What give it? Give me a minute. Give me a minute.
Uh, you are not there, right? Yeah. Give me a minute, bro. Give me a minute. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me, bro? Uh, yes, but your audio is low. Okay, now? Yes, it is very clear. Okay, okay. Now, we were right here. Uh, it's not loading now. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, the one when it is not loading. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, I'll, I'll just go to the three minutes and show it to you because it's not clear. Okay. 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 Now, can you can you see the chart? Yes. Okay. So. There was a clear order buck right here. Yes. I showed it to you on the one minute. Okay. Yes. Now, would they give give it to us that easily? No, right? They yeah. would not. Yes. This will be an inducement. Yes. Right? This will be an inducement. And then, yes. what do we have right here? Imbalance. Imbalance. And a POI. You see that? Yes. So then, I know that even though this trap has been taken out, it did yes. not really build the imbalance. So then, I'm buying. I'm buying yes. from here. I'm buying from here. Stop loss below this low. What would my target be? This high. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This high. And then, and then now, it went straight into my POI. Okay. Yes. You see this? Now, yes. I'm selling, I'm selling because why? I know that was a trap. Okay, so now yes. I'm selling. And then, I told you about the Asian range. The Asian range is, is the guide for intraday traders. Okay, that's the guide for intraday traders to wear the most amount of liquidity. You yes. see, I told you, this Asian highs and lows will be taken out. Okay, so now, my first target would be the Asian low. Okay? okay, the Asian yes. low. And since price is fractal, I told you, from this low, we broke up the right here. Now we know that for an uptrend, price has to go up and then come back down into a discount price and then go higher. We know that, right? Yes. So now we know that this was our new low and now this is our new high. Now we once a breakout structure happens, I told you. We look for discount and premium prices. See that? From this yes. low to this high. And then we know that anything below this would be a good point of interest for us. But we do not yes. look at this because why? This was inside of the Asian range. Yes. Asian low. Okay. And then price came back down, took out the Asian lows. Okay. It took out the Asian lows. And I even had a buy position here. Okay, if you on the one meet, I would have shown it to you. Let's try once again. I don't know why it's not loading today. Um, I think it, that's it. <laughs> that's... It was load, uh, loading. Uh... Yeah, it was load, loading earlier. Now it's not. Okay, so now on, on the one minute, okay, now imagine this is the one minute. Okay. Yes. Okay. Price went higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher. and then it broke structure right here. Yes. Right here it broke structure. Yes. Okay. And then price came back down. Like this. I was monitoring price action throughout this whole day. Okay. Price okay. came back down like this. Yes. And then I saw this happen. It started creating this trend line like this. You see that? Now people would wait 
for the third touch of this trend line, right? Yes. Okay, is it? Now yes. I told you, price is fractal and so is liquidity. Liquidity is fractal too. Yes. Okay. So now I know that these people will be taken out for sure. For sure, these people will be taken out. Because why? The next thing is time and price. Now we are inside of the London kill zone. Okay. Okay. I hope you have heard of it, the London kill yes, zone yes. and stuff. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're like, what time it is? London if you can zone. tell me the specific time, like I yeah, consider uh, London, I consider yeah, it from eleven thirty to time? like yeah, exactly. Eleven thirty is where the London kill zone opens, and yes. twelve thirty is when the London session opens, and yes. um, from four thirty is when the New York kill zone opens, and then five thirty p.m. is when the New York session opens. Okay. 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 So now, once this happens. You see this trend line like thing for me right here. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll draw a horizontal line. Um, I'll draw a horizontal line from here because I know this low will be taken out for sure. Okay. I'll go to the left, and then there was a one minute order block right here. Okay. I can't show it. I'm sorry. There's a one minute order block right here. The fifty percent. Okay, because the trend line came in, the trend line came and it mitigated this thing right here. Yes. Okay, that was the opening of the trend. So what's on the fifty percent? Another order block, right? Yes. I told you. So then, that was my entry. Because why? The liquidity was there. This was the inducement. This was the inducement, and then yeah. I bought. I bought, and then stop plus below this low. Where was my next target? Okay, now since price broke structure like this, you see, price broke structure right yeah. here. Yes. Okay. Now we yes. have a new range from this high to this low. Then yes. we look for discount and premium prices. Okay. Now we know that anything above this would be a good area for us to sell from because yes. it's a premium price. And then on the one minute, on the one minute, there was this very clear order block right here. Was very clear right here. This, okay. You see this week? Yes, on the yes. one minute, this was a very clear order block. And I saw, and even on this, I, I'm on a lot of smart money channels. Okay. I saw yeah. many people looking at this order block. So I knew this will be taken out for sure. Okay. I knew that. And then, okay. yeah. this was the inducement. And then, which means now for the buy, this would be my target. Okay. That yeah. would be my target, and then on the thirty second, on the thirty second time frame, there was this order block right here, just above the thirty second order block. I'm sorry, on the one minute order block. Okay. 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 And then once again, I sold. I sold from here. So you consider so the order block which is closest to the inducement, uh, even if yeah, it is in a lower time frame. Inducement. Yeah, even if it's a sec once uh, on the thirty second time frame, I'll still take that. Okay. 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 And then, I'm sorry. This was my target because why we're in a downtrend. We're in a downtrend. So on a in a downtrend, we always target the lower lows. Okay. We always yes. target the lower lows. Yeah. And now I know that on this range, from this low to this high, we are in a discounted price. Okay. We are in yes. a discounted price. Okay. So now, on the one minute, okay, on the one minute. Now you see, this is a very clear order block, right? This is a very clear order block, and even it even got induced. But why do yes. I not trust it? Even many people would have looked at this, right? Yes. Many people would have looked at this. So what I do is, I don't do what they do. I look for this. It was just below this thing. Okay, on the one minute, it was an order block right here, and then. We have this inducement, right? We have this inducement. Yes. You, see you need to pay attention to the tiny. I hope um, you understood what I told you so far. Uh, I understood a lot of things, but there, uh, but there are still confusions. Like uh, yes. if oh, I were yes, there, I would have taken okay. the, that order block which you mentioned. This thing right here. This thing. Yes, because yeah, yeah. But you see, you see how how far down it came. Spread so yes. has taken you out for sure. Okay. Yes. Now I told you. I told you. So have you heard of this FU candle? 
yes. and that will have taught you that. Okay. So what like how you can um like view uh, if you can list that it has to get engulfed. Okay. Like they do not teach you this. Not then that or anyone teaches you this. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I can hear you. Yeah. 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 What and if you can basically means is that there will be a cell. Yes. And then. The next candle. Now, this is very important. Okay, this is how you trade before a break of structure. Okay, this is how you okay. trade before a break of structure. Now, now imagine I'm talking about a a bullish if you can. Okay. Now. Okay. Price will come back down, mm -hmm. and then the next candle has to engulf it. This is how this got engulfed. You know what an engulfing candle means. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now you see this candle engulfed the previous bearish candle. Okay. Now, yes. if it gets engulfed so like, by it only one, needs one to, candle, what is it? It only in, uh, needs to engulf the body or uh, both the body and. Ah, yeah, and only the, the body. Only the body. Okay. Okay. Only the body. Now, say this. This is a candle. So now, if one candle, if one candle engulfs it like this, okay. If only one candle engulfs it. Okay, if it was just one candle that engulfed it, now this is a very strong F U candle. Okay. Okay. Now this yeah. is a very strong F U candle. If if it does this, if two candles engulf it like this, it's still an F U candle. Okay, because it has got engulfed. Okay. Okay. I hope it's clear. And now if there are three candles that engulf it, something like this. If there's three candles that engulfed it, like this, it's still an F U candle. Okay, this is still an F U candle. Okay, so now, okay, have you heard of this pattern? Stop hunt, break of structure, return to origin, R T O. You have heard of it, right? That's the confirmation entry that Phantom teaches. Okay, it has to come do this, and then break of structure. Yeah, you enter right here. That's the confirmation entry. Yes, right. That's the confirmation yes. entry. So have you seen that price now? Most probably, it does not return to origin like that. Yes, you've seen that, right? It just yes. goes. It just goes. Uh, it it'll do something like that and it'll go. But yeah. I'm gonna tell you how to trade, how to take the trade from right here before before price comes back down. Okay. Okay. You can take it right here. So that is based on the F U candle, okay. So now on the one minute, on the one minute, there was a F U candle right here that got formed, okay. Okay. So I told you how. Now I told you how to determine the F U candle, right? Now I told you. So you see, something like this formed on the one minute time frame. It price pushed down and then went back higher. Yes. Engulfed. Okay, so what I do is I do not wait for break of structure. I just trade the reaction. Okay, once this get engulfed, I do this. Once it get engulfed, I do this. That's it. So okay. once it get engulfed, okay, once it get engulfed, so the next candle will most probably come and feel that imbalance, and then boom, it goes higher. Do you understand that? That's how yes. we trade before a break of structure. Okay, okay, so on the one minute that happened. So what I did was I did this. So it was around here. Okay, was on here, and then now I know that on the lower time frame, this was my range from this low to this high. Okay. Yeah. That. Yes. I hope you are not seeing anything right now. Are you still there? 